Here we go, guys. Club 2, Motherwell, Hall of Famer. Enjoy. Well, if you don't know why we're here, I suggest you go and watch the last video. Hello there, welcome back to the channel for Club 2, Episode 1 of Hall of Famer FM23 with Motherwell. Yeah, we got a job offer and we took it. We have left Scunthorpe United, they are looking for a new manager. Um, I can't see a compensation fee down here, but that is all good. In a move which is sure to spark plenty of heated debate maybe from the comments, Scratch Parker has left Scunthorpe to join Motherwell. Parker arrives with a record of 87, 84 wins, 22 draws and just 10 defeats in his career. We won two league titles in a row and a cup. We'll face pressure to bring immediate success to Fir Park, having stepped up from his previous standing to take sole charge. He was considered favourite. He's actually a legend, I think. But there we go. We're here at Scunthorpe. We're here at Motherwell. Christ. Uh, we're here at Motherwell. Got to stop saying Scunthorpe now. We've left Scunthorpe. And I fully intend to follow through with my, not promise, but what I'm aiming to do towards the end of this save. And that's go back to Scunthorpe and finish the job we started. We will keep tabs on them throughout the uh, time here at Motherwell. And then maybe we move on again. Uh, but um, yeah, we'll keep tabs on Scunthorpe. Absolutely. But here we are. We're at Motherwell in Scotland. And... I think I'm satisfied to be here. We've been given a nice transfer budget of just over £1 million and a wage budget just higher than what we had at Scunthorpe. So I guess we'll see on that one. We'll hit the next button again. I am going to employ the same tactic as what I had at Scunthorpe and that's literally what they're playing now, which is really nice. Next on this, they want me to finish uh, mid-table in the Premiership, which I think is fine. Uh, develop players using the club's use system, that's fine, yada yada yada, we'll hit next, we'll hit next, and we'll hit confirm. And here we are, we're at Scum, uh, we're at, M oh my god, I keep saying Scumthorpe, we're at Motherwell, we're at Motherwell, we are at Motherwell, in the Scottish Premier League. Let's have a look at the squad, uh, some players look half decent here, you know, tactics, um, can I just like load my own ones because I'm pretty sure I did save them. Right, I did save them. Load. Uh, did I load it as my second tactic? Is that what it was? The 424 is my Leicester one. This is what I, this is mine. Right, so we'll quick pick this. Can, what? Why can't I quick pick? Eh? That's weird. Quick pick. Oh, okay. That's odd. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, potential-wise, uh, this guy looks half-decent. Stuart Clark is a left-winger. Um, decent physicals on him, actually. That's not bad at all. Um, let's have a look at current ability players. Uh, Ricky Lammy is a centre-back, so he'll. I'm guessing he'll be all right there. Um, he'll work well in the getting stuck in. Blimey, he'll get sent off a few times. Liam Kelly looks like he'll be our starting goalkeeper. He looks half-decent. Uh, oh, there was that... Um, Oh, I'm going to have to go back and watch a clip now because there was that chap who um, I really wanted to sign for Scunthorpe that wasn't interested in signing for Scunthorpe. Um, I'm going to see if we can probably get him now for Motherwell. But this is the team. It looks like it looks half decent, really. But we will, of course, be... Um, and we've actually qualified for the... Um, is that the Conference League? I'm pretty sure that's the Conference League. Season preview will have us, has us finishing in 8th, so that's um, that's uh, not ideal. But um, yeah, here we are. We're at Motherwell, guys. We are at Motherwell. Uh, players in range. Let's see who's interested in coming to us. Uh, loans. Um, I mean, would any of these be interested? I mean, to be fair, they are interested. It's just would uh, I mean I'm not even sure how many players we're allowed to loan how, how many players are we allowed to loan loan offer but they want a mandatory future fee I'm not really interested in who that it doesn't have any total cost doesn't say anything right so we'll get rid of that and optional future fee instead Oh wow, they, now they want me to pay that. Uh, 
and we can't afford that, so that's fine. No, we can't afford that, so sorry, man. That's not going to happen. Now, in terms of uh, transfers, who would be interested in coming in? Lewis Port Potter is a, would be a really good sign-in, although I don't think we can spend £11 million pounds, um, as Motherwell manager. Would we be able to loan him? No. <laughs> no, we wouldn't. We would not be able to loan him. We would not be able to loan him. That I mean, I guess that's fine. Um, yeah. But we'll have a look through. I mean, where are the areas we mainly need to strengthen in? Let's have a look at squad planner. Uh, goalkeeper, we probably do need another one. Left back, we do have a few options. It looks like Lamy, possibly. Uh, there's this guy, Cohen Brammel, who is uh, who is a who is a left back. He'll probably be my starting left back, so that's fine. Centre back, we do have a couple there. Lamy being one of them. Uh, Solomon uh, Johansson as well. Uh, maybe a couple of centre backs would be ideal. Uh, we've got just Stefano Driscoll, really. He's 32, so we do need someone younger. Defensive midfield, we do need a new defensive midfielder. Um, Adam May looks like he'll do a decent job for us in the middle to begin with. Um, yeah, we need midfielders. We need central midfielders, absolutely. Wingers, again, wingers. More. Wi oh my god, left hand side of midfield is, the, is a cert. Uh, striker, we've got Octavio Riviero, who doesn't look too bad. Uh, well, seven goals in 32 appearances. So yeah, we might need a striker. So um, we do need players. We really do need players. Now, if I go to... Um, competitions actually it was probably not the right one to go to um, let's see if we can actually get my oh, West Ham won the conference league that's cool so then let's do this oh Covent oh Coventry made it to the playoff final and they lost damn it that sucks right no I didn't want to go that way I want to go that way Scunthorpe right um would I be interested in taking anyone with me apart from Tyler Walker? Would you be interested? Let's have a look. Okay, so he, he's not... Oh my god. What? He's on... He's on 2.7 grand a week. And he'd want that much money. That's bad. That's so bad. Dude, literally, you were playing for me like a week ago. I offered you a new contract. Right, he's already on loan. Oh dear, am I already regretting? Am I already regretting this? Monthly staff meeting. Will I attend the meeting? Remind me in a month. End meeting. Go away. I mean, I've already made a tactic. Bugger off. I've already made a tactic. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good for that. Right, so... We, we need we need to sign players. We do need to sign some players. We really do need to strengthen in key areas. We're still... I mean, how many... Is the new fixture list out yet? It's not. So I don't even know who we're playing. I don't even know when we're playing our first game. Looks like it's going to be first of... First week of August, so we've got, what, six weeks? Six weeks, all of it's going to change now, so we'll know officially very soon. Oh, Lord. Am I already regretting this? Oh, God, this could be bad. Right, mid-table finish, yada, yada, yada. What if I go... Oh, you're not going to give me much more money, are you? Like that. No, you're not, so we might as well just set the expectations lower. And hit continue. But now, n now we know. Now we know. So it's going to be on the 4th on that home game against Inverness. And at the minute we're predicted to finish 8th. So looks like the club did overachieve last season. So, oh Christ. Am I already regretting this? Am I already starting to regret this? Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Right, one thing is for certain. We will have Liam Kelly starting as our goalkeeper. We will have this chap at centre-back, and we'll have this guy as his partner at centre-back as well. Adam May, very well could be... Are we playing with a box-to-box -box midfielder? Yes we, yes, we are. So he will be my box-to-box -box midfielder. 
you will be my left back. I mean, this is all subject to change, obviously. Octavio is not going to be my starting striker. I've made, already made that decision. So there's you who can play right back. So, I mean, <laughs> you are out of contract very soon, but you, I guess, would still work there. Uh, so it's everywhere else. So defensive midfield, um, wingers and the striker. We need wingers. We really do need wingers. That is a cert. Code of conduct. Do that. Meet the players. Obviously, I'm meeting the players for the first time here. Um, I want to bring in quality and attack. Uh, I think we can finish mid-table. That's good. See what we can do in the Scottish Cup as well. And it doesn't seem like many people are annoyed with that. Auto select, we're off to Australia. Woo! Let's go. And um, we've got 600 grand coming in for TV rights. I mean, I guess that's all right. That's not too bad. It's actually quite bad in comparison to the Premier League in England. But there we go. Um, yep, that's fine. I am I am doing training now. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, assistant, new assistant, I should say. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we'll decline the under-18s. Rather well wage right rises finances wise we've got a lot of wage budget to spend as well so that's encouraging uh, that is encouraging so uh, that's cool um you actually look like a promising prospect sam campbell uh, so you'll be a backup there all right come on we need to sign some players we really do need to sign some players right you eh Right, so what is this a chap that we could actually? I mean, he doesn't look too bad. It's a it's a left back. So if we if we offer him that, maybe this is where we start to get a bit cheeky with some instalments. About that, no. I don't I don't want to spend all of my budget straight away. How's that? No, I don't want to. Sp Leave me alone, man. Don't be an ass. Right. 140. And we do that. Right. Good boy. Um, Jack Bowman. Okay. That's interesting. Because um, we want to look at youngsters as well. I mean, 23, I would still say, is young. Let's do that. Is 50 players found scouting centre right so there's this there's you Talison this guy from QPR winger and he's out of contract is he interested in coming in he would be right upon appeal he should be granted a work permit so let's do that Put that on, but then we'll do that as well. So he's he's good with that. That would be a good sign-in if we can get that over the line. That would be a really good sign-in. I'd be alright with that. I would be alright with that. So let's hit continue. Uh, this guy's offer has been accepted. He wants a big pay rise. I'm not even sure what the maximum wage is that we can offer. Okay, so seven and a half we can do. And you can have that. How's that? You'll take that. Good man. Good man. So we could be getting in Aaron Quiros from a Banfield. Is that in Argentina? That is in Argentina. Good boy. Parker knows his clubs in Argentina. I meet in the media. Attend the press conference. Start the press conference. Um, I mean, that is a little bit, a bit of an exaggeration, I must admit. But um, yeah, I'll see. So we're at Scunthorpe for 21 episodes. That's not too bad. Um, my initial th uh, thought behind this is going to... Oh, Mikel Arteta's gone to Celtic. So we'll be facing Arteta this early on. That's not bad. Okay. Um, Beric on loan. 
so loan for you you don't look too bad might as well accept that and this one he's actually going to be going on a transfer you don't look hot I mean yeah you do so that's fine probably someone I had no interest in using anyway so that is fine by me and there we go right let's see what players we can bring in we'll be back and we have our first signing through the door Aaron Quiros is a 23 year old fullback we have just been looking at this chap obviously he has a potential of four and a half stars and uh, we've made we're going to be making a profit on him regardless of when we sell him I'm pretty sure uh, 1.4 to 3.1 we are paying a little bit over installments but that is absolutely fine uh, 1.5 the official fee we paid what 140 up front i think so that does leave me with just under 1 million pounds left to spend we are going to be getting money through because of the conference league so i don't think finances are going to be an issue at any point i mean that doesn't suggest that but i honestly think we will be fine um you know, I don't know how long I intend to stay here. I mean, I don't know if this is a club we could actually realistically win the league with. But um, I guess we'll have to see. But yeah, really excited to have uh, Quiros in. He'll be he'll probably be my starting left back now, to be fair. He can also cover at centre back, which is good. Is he decent there? He's half decent there as well. So that is good. So we have him in there. He yeah, literally just above him. So he can actually cover he can actually cover in the wing department as well. And physicals are actually really good. So we may look at using him on the wing. Maybe. I guess we'll see. But um Tallison, is that his name? Tallison? His his um move has also been delayed due to a work permit. That hopefully should go through in a day or two. And um, we're having like offers come in for like loan players and stuff. So Brandon Hunter, Ali Gold, they'll both be going out on loan. That is absolutely fine. But I'm happy. We've made our first official sign in, Aaron Quiros, and it's the most amount of money we've spent so far in this save. So good stuff. Good stuff. Um let's have a look at the scout reports again. Um Oh, okay. Um, he's in. He's wanting a transfer. Seriously, really? I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't say no. But what about a loan? Would you accept a loan? Ah, oh, because it's Brighton. They don't like me because of what I did to Hinchelwood. That's not nice. Ah, oh, bastards. Um, right, Mads Burstup. Uh, he's a defensive midfielder. Could we get this guy in on loan? That'd be nice. Yeah, we can't pay that much. We can't pay that much, I'm afraid. What if? What if? What if? What if we were going to offer you, like, 40 million? No, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. That's fine. You know what? I can live with that. That's fine. That is fine. Let I mean, let's have a look, actually. Loan status is, is listed, and they're interested. Who would actually fit that description? This guy, uh, Franco Zapilio, Zapolia, maybe. Uh, let's see. He actually looks half decent. They want too much money though. They just want too much money for him. Uh, Gray for Leeds. What about you? Would you want any wage contribution? You would. You want too much. You want so much money. And then it's just a load of Chelsea youngsters that we can get on the loan. So loan offers might not be a thing for this club you're wanted by i mean you're wanted by loan clubs to be perfectly honest but uh Quiros is actually the most the highest paid player at the club as well so that's uh, interesting uh but yeah i'm sure we will find some decent players uh don't forget free um the players get released soon because it's the end of june nearly so we'll see who we can afford from that so uh let's go forward a little bit Ailson is in as well. Three and a half star current belief, four star potential comes in. He'll probably be my uh, starting left winger, so really happy to have him along. Can play in a whole host of positions. He can cover right back anywhere on the right hand side. In fact, central midfield, attacking midfield, and even a striker. Finishing of 11 and first touch of 14. Not actually that bad. So he comes in as my second official sign. If we have a look at the transfers, ins, uh, we have potentially a few coming in. Now, this was the chap that I was looking at for Scunthorpe, but he didn't. He wasn't interested. We have had an offer accepted for him. We've agreed personal terms, and uh, we'll see. We've also made an offer to sign Reese Bennett from Manchester United, who was released, actually, so it's a free transfer. Same as Ben Garrity. He was released by Port Vale, I think. So I think it just goes to show that the standard that we're looking at here isn't actually that much better than what 
we were previously. And Tyree Strong Jules, who was at Arsenal, he was released, and we're also putting a bid for him as well. So um, he could be a left winger actually. So I guess we'll see. But Tallison is in. Now, um, speaking of that, I did want to go and have a look because uh, I just wanted to see if Scunthorpe have named their new manager yet. Let's have a look. Have they? They have. It's Ryan Lowe. Ryan Lowe, former... I think he was at Berry previously. He was at Berry. Um, milestones, that's what I wanted to look at. Oh, okay. So, sacked as manager of Preston after failing to improve their poor financial situation. That's strange. That is strange. Oh, well, so... Um, Hang on, has he been a manager for a long time then? Not really. But he was a player for Sheffield Wednesday when they got promoted. Okay, fair enough. This guy looks like he could be a good fit for Scunthorpe, to be fair. Um, what are the media predicting? Uh, Scunthorpe, 18th. Okay. I'll be satisfied if, personally, I'll be satisfied if they stay up. I think, I think they'll be fine. I think they will be fine. So, and uh, Sheffield Wednesday went to Mitchell van der Gag there. Fair enough. And they are actually predicted... Where are they? There they are, seventh again. So, that's cool, I guess. That is cool. So, um, let's hit continue and see if we can get a few more players through the door. Okay. Um, yeah, that's not very nice. Uh, Fleetwood have signed Ben Garrity on a free transfer. He rejected us and Burton. Fleetwood have just been relegated to League One from the Championship. Yeah. Okay, so 20th of July, I don't think we've made any more sign-ins, have we? No, I mean, we spent it on a free and that is literally it. Um, we've obviously not paid all that. And we've just had loan sign just loans go out. Now, these are current ins at the moment. Uh, Charlie MacArthur, we had him on loan last season. Uh, Warrior with Scunthorpe, we've made an offer for him. So, um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to afford that, actually. Because we don't have the... Can I move? I can't even move that back up. So we'll have to see if that goes through. Uh, but there's this guy as well. I don't. I don't honestly don't think we're going to get him in because he's had other clubs coming from as well, like Middlesbrough, QPR, and Sunderland. Middlesbrough have just been relegated from the Premier League, so there is that. <coughs> Uh, but uh, other players that we had in here that just weren't good enough that Aronson guy like two stars the other guy two and a half stars the loan that we had from that Brazilian club just not good enough so I had to save it and reload but it looks like we're gonna have to start using a bit of youth because this guy can play on the wing yes he's 16 this guy might even have to be my starting striker uh, this guy is gonna have to be an option at uh, center back and yeah it's um yeah, it's, it's not looking good. I'm not regretting it because I think it was a good move because... Oh, I don't know. I actually don't know, guys. I really don't know. I really do not know. But I'm not expecting us to uh, get that play. I'm not expecting to get uh, McNeil in. I'm not expected to get Ugarte in, whatever his name is. Yeah, um, we'll see. But the other thing... That I thought I'd show you is the fact that we've got this team in the Europa Europa UEFA Europa Conference League second round playoff. Now this is a team in I thought it was Croatia who are just a little bit better than us. So we have that we have these to play. Now I'm not sure if we make that like episode two. I think we probably will actually we'll do both legs of that and we'll see where we are in the uefa conference league uh, we'll probably do that to be honest so we'll only have a few more we'll probably have one more clip after this before we go to that game and then obviously we'll be doing those games in the next video uh, it just helps me stock up on videos as well so um there is that this guy's actually out injured so he'll actually miss that game so and i've not managed to sign a striker yet so that's it <sighs> it's not looking good guys it's really not looking good well, it could look worse. I think it could look worse. We're going with some youngsters um, at the top of the field. And, yeah, this is how it looks. We've not made any more signings since the last clip. We've been rejected by a few players, you know, as expected. We haven't signed any more players, like I said. A few more loans have been arranged. I think this guy, just today, has had his loan at Elgin City confirmed. So there we go. So we'll have to see how we get on here. Not been the most enjoyable transfer window in the world but 
hopefully we've not done too bad and hopefully we have a decent season here at, at I can't <laughs> keep trying to say Scunthorpe at Motherwell Club 2 Motherwell yeah do I have any regrets maybe a couple um, I basically just took the first thing that was offered to me and if we look at like available jobs now I mean I you know what I did I will admit to you I actually did apply for Sheffield United because David Moyes left Sheffield United to take charge of Scotland so that's cool I guess but if we have a look at job security there are a few um, teams looking for a manager Leicester why the hell are they looking for a manager I resigned did he go oh he's gone to Austria oh that's a it's rather odd the West Ham jobs available. England, hey, we go to England, yeah. Uh, how about we go to manage Belgium under 23s? No, I don't think so. I don't think we're going to be managing a nation in this save, to be perfectly honest, guys. But there we go. Never thought 22, 23 episodes into Hall of Famer that are playing in Europe. Yes, new club. Very unambitious transfer window yesterday or day before, depending on what my schedule is looking like. This is what we did. Uh, Quinteros, uh, Tallison and Bennett. Three signings. No line signings through the door yet. You would have seen in yesterday's video if you did watch it. We do have a few that we are going in for. Uh, Macron from Brentford and Louis Barry from Aston Villa. We still have budgets available, but no one wants to come to us. Uh, we lost out players to Fleetwood, to Sunderland, to Huddersfield. Yeah. Regrets? Kind of. Maybe. We'll see. But we are playing in Europe, which is good. We're playing um, Croatian side Rika, and we'll be playing both legs of this game, of this um, a competition against them uh, because uh, second qualifying round of the Europa Conference League so I guess we will see how we get on now um, that is not correct positive is what we want and this is the team we are going to be sending out to face Rika in the Europa Conference League Conference League Kelly in goal a back four of Quiros, Lamy, Solom, Johnson and O'Donnell uh, Cornelius, Turney and Spittle in midfield with Clark and Towson supporting Ferry up front this could go well this could go very wrong I don't know nervous yes a little bit haven't even got enough players to fill the bench so there we go let's see how we can get on um the ball and fans are expecting a draw from this um yeah this could go really bad but at least we'll be getting a bit of money from it maybe we'll see we will see oh god this could go really wrong couldn't it this really could go really wrong So first official game in charge is Motherwell. I was going to say Scunthorpe again. Still not got Scunthorpe out of my mind. Um, if you did miss the transfer um, special window, just basically simulating through the summer, then um, you would have seen that Scunthorpe appointed Ryan Lowe as my successor. Be interesting to see how they get on. We will um, have a look at them throughout the season. Um, I realised I didn't actually go through the final tables with you. I, I think I kind of did. In those so home form it home being at home first is good because um gives us an advantage going into the second leg hopefully so this is our first look at this sort of thing in this save obviously you would have seen it numerous times at leicester in the beta save so let's see how we get on i mean i'm not expecting like a 5-0 win here but we're at key highlights and everything looks pretty much the same as what it did at scumthorpe so here we go. First official game in charge of Motherwell. Let's see how we can get on. 20 minutes in. Uh, we haven't had any shots on goal. Let's encourage. Uh, Tony's a little bit annoyed with me for that. We've had a shot on goal. That's good. Right, this is for us. Uh, Solholm to Lamy. Tries to thrust it forward. Clark can't get on the end of that. It has been intercepted. This is Rika. Puts the ball through to him. And he's put Rika 1-0 up. Yeah, that was really poor on our part. It might take us a few games to get, get settled in. Um, as it does with, in reality. Sometimes players aren't even given that. We'll demand more. Even managers, I should say. Wow, he's already knackered. Less than... We're not even into. We're not even at half time yet. 
and Paleska is through and the defending is absolutely haggard here oh my god the keeper has done terribly there that was such a tame effort from the Rika player he could have just got it. I mean we're gonna have to make that change now by the looks of it because he is knackered I can see him now yeah, so we could be knocked out really early on I don't know uh, it's headed cleared there by Blair Spittal. And we can have another opportunity here. It's headed just over. <clears throat> and, yeah, we've not been good at all. We have not been good. We have managed just a one-shot and goal. Rika are 1-0 up. Uh, I was just going to say, they've been absolutely terrible. And they have. So, let's see if they can... Um, let's see if we can respond in the second half here. I mean, 10 minutes in, we've still not had another shot yet. So let's add a couple of instructions. I mean, never know. Never know. Right, Ferry is on the ball now. He has, I think that's Clark with him. Clark has been put through here on the left-hand side. He's got a little bit of space. Clark to Quiros. Quiros with the shot. Oh, and the keeper's parried it. And it was a really good effort. That was better. That was better. So that's what I was... Oh, no. And it... And Rika are in here, on the wing. I mean, this guy's got no support, but he didn't need it. He managed to force a really good save there from Kelly. And we can see the corner. I'm wondering if that was our even our highlight to begin with, to be perfectly honest. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. All right, 20 minutes left. Towson needs to come off. Let's see what we can do in these final minutes now. Uh, I haven't even got a striker that can come on. I mean, Rivio can. So let's bring him on. Let's bring Adam on for Clark. Oh my god, he's not even any better. What about Shane Evans? He's the same, Jesus Christ. All right, Bramall on for Quiros. And I think I can only make one more change. So Broom on for Tallison. Can I make any more? I didn't think I could. So I'll have to go with that. My god. God, the players are fatigued, aren't they? But we do have another week before the next game. We're going to have to go attacking here because it would be nice if we can get an equaliser. I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm probably being a bit optimist, too optimistic with that. But Bramwell has won the ball back. He's given it to uh, Nevins now. Nevins is pro progressing forward. He's got quite a few Rika players with him. But he's still doing well. He's managed to hold on to the ball and it's been given away. Held up play. Rebar now for Rika. Bramwell can't win the ball back. It's Mitrovic. I don't think it's that Mitrovic. But Rika are knocking it around here. Uh, Bramwell's won it back. Turney tries to put it forward. Again, it's intercepted. Right, we've won the ball back. Cornelius. Oh, look at Clark. Look at uh, Nevins even. Nevins on the ball. Nevins with a shot and he scores. Shane Nevins has scored for Motherwell. Come on. Oh, we don't deserve that, do we? We really don't. We have been piss poor in this game. But we've managed to get the equaliser. That is awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you, boys. Come on. Now, it'd be awesome if we could hold on to this. I don't think we deserve to, to be honest. But then again, second half, they've not been prolific either. And uh, potential last-minute winner coming. Could be for us. Probably is going to be for them, knowing my, my luck. Oh, come on. He's been muscled out there, but it doesn't matter. It's been put over the top for Oliveira. And I think it was offside anyway, so that's fine. Rivio, sorry. Riviera. Who the hell was that? Who knows? And there we go. 1-1. One, one. Uh, you know, that's what the board wanted. That's what the supporters expected. So that's not actually a bad result. Uh, uh, 81st minute equaliser. Not bad at all. Um, we'll take that. You know, we will take that. But apparently I'm not very happy with it. <laughs> according to what I clicked just then. But um, there we go. It could have been worse. Oh, dude, it's been one game. Give me a break. Seriously. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm glad we didn't play it. Then again, that is a Welsh team. So, kind of expected. Yeah. I'm not sure what updates I'll be bringing you next. It could be... It, we could be just coming back for the second leg of this game. Or we could have some new players. Hopefully it's the new players. Okay, well, let's see what we can do with this now. Um, we have made another signing, but he won't be able to play today. It's Minimon from Brentford. I did have to adjust my budget to uh, for it to actually go through. <coughs> Pardon me. 
So this is the team we're going to be sending out. It's a bit changed from the last game. But let's see how we get on. Let's submit it. Uh, we've gone to balance because I'm expecting a tougher game here. We weren't great in the first leg. Um, we did come alive in the second half. Uh, managed to earn a draw. Which, um, yeah, we earned it just about. Um, but let's see how we get on here. We could be out of the Conference League now. Uh, we could maybe get through to the next round. I really don't know. I'm not... Um, I'm not exactly favouring our chances here, but I guess we'll have to see. We will have to see. Um, it's just another day at the office, absolutely. What's the mood in the dressing room? I think we're all right. I think we're okay. I think things are good. We'll have to see. Let's see how we do. Come on. Let's have something to shout about early on. Let's have something to shout about, please. Nice if we did. Alright, we've won the ball back. Tell us into Lammy. Across to Soholm. Turney. To Spittle now. Spittle with a bit of space. Spittle tries to put it over the top for Riviero. And he does. And Riviero scored. Come on. Just over 11 minutes into the game. And we have taken the lead in Croatia. Look at that. Come on, baby. Come on. He was injured in the first game, so I couldn't start him. That's why he came on as a sub, which is cool. We have another free kick. Uh, Gross, a lovely ball there to Vitalison. Vitalison back to Turney. Turney now bringing the ball forward again. Turney goes back to O'Donnell. O'Donnell, what's he going to do? Can he? Yeah, he gets it out to go. Goss puts it over the top and it is intercepted. But um, I was thinking... This is probably a highlight for them anyway. Uh, we have got men back, which is good. Elich now coming forward for Rika. Now, on this right-hand side, what can he do? He's got no one in the box yet, but Lamy with the clearance. Wonderful stuff. But it is still with Rika now. Quebec, Octagon, he's offside, he's offside, he's offside. He's offside. He's offside. Thank you. Thank you. I thought he was. I knew he was. I knew he was. Right, so, 20, no, 30 minutes in. We're leading in Croatia. This is good. I was not expecting this. I really wasn't expecting it. And we're looking good at half-time here. And we have had more shots on goal. Just the one on target. The shot we scored, of course. And we do have another highlight here just before half-time. What's this going to come to? It is, I was going to say with them, but it is now with us. Quiros now. Back to Lamy. Lamy it out to Spittle. We managed to keep hold of the ball. Back to Soholm now. Spittle. Spittle to Goss. Cross to Turney. Turney back to Lamy. We are inviting them. Here. Quiros still with the ball. Back to Lamy. Oh, that was a terrible pass. And we've conceded possession here. And he shoots. And it's wide. It's wide. That was poor. That was poor by Goss there. We have held on at half-time. We are leading 1-0. This is going better than expected. I'm happy with the performance, mainly because we're winning. And I don't want to piss anyone off. So let's see what we can do here. I'm just wondering, uh, can you remember the name of that team that won, like, 13-0, was it? I'm trying to remember the name of the team, and I can't. Ooh, that was close. Tony, will he get to this? No, he won't. It looks like a counter-attack for Rika. And it's Palasica now. He is, he is onside, I think. Oh. Doesn't matter because he missed. Phew. That could have been bad. All right, six. To, oh, my God. That was a weird time for them to come, for us to come back for a highlight, wasn't it? Well, we nearly conceded. <laughs> Never seen that happen before. Literally, as the highlight starts, concede a goal. Thankfully, we didn't. But have we conceded now? No. Oh, my God. We are living on the edge here, folks. We are living on the edge. We are living on the edge. We've got 20 minutes to hold on to this. Let's make a couple of changes. Let's bring you on. Let's bring Clark on for Spittle. Actually, Spittle can actually cover in midfield, can't he? So let's do that. That's actually not looking too bad. And Ferry is going to come on for Octavio as well. Octavio Riviero. Oh, my God. What is wrong with me? Right. Stockholm's going to come off for um, Sam Campbell as well. Let's see what those changes do. Hopefully it just stops the rot a little bit from Rika. 
Now we are leading 1 0. 15 minutes left to play. This could be a really good win and it could give us a bunch of money as well, which, which would be really nice. Now, 85 minutes on the clock. We have been all right. We have done much better in this game than what we did in the last. Can we hold on to this? We've got a few minutes left. And we have done it. Look at that. Come on. Get in there. I was not expecting progression from that. And I think there was another round before we get to... I think it's going to be... Like we've got in the Leicester save. The, the league group... The league league phase because i think it's the 24 25 season which is what we're in now oh just 86 grand is that it jesus christ right we've got malmo in the next round okay malmo nor sweden okay i thought it was norwegian for some reason no why but this i mean are they any better than what we've just faced maybe we don't know they're three stars just like rika are so we'll see but um that's cool. I'm glad we've got through. I was not expecting that at all. Uh, yeah, wicked stuff. Now, when are we going to be playing Malmo? Because that is ideally something I really want to show you. Now, it probably won't be long. Oh, my God. It's the next game. It's... Oh, right. Okay. This is the first team. Let's hope some of them work out. Regrets, kind of. Maybe a little bit. Since you were last here, guys, um, nothing's really happened. We've progressed a little bit. And uh, we're facing Inverness in the Cinch Premiership in our first... Um, a Scottish Premier League game. I'm looking forward to this. I'm thinking we have improved the squad. Um, whether we're, you know, credentials to finish high up in the league or not, I'm really not sure. We were originally predicted eighth. <laughs> now we're actually gone down to ninth. Okay, um, I wasn't expecting that. Oh dear. Okay. The board want mid table and. Um, conference league progression we'll see how we get on with that but this is the team we're going to be sending out at home against Inverness I um I wasn't expecting to have slipped to ninth in the prediction table <coughs> oh dear oh dear indeedy now I would see Inverness as a winnable game absolutely away from home may be a different story although we have just gone away to a Croatian team and won Kind of, did we deserve? Maybe not. Maybe didn't deserve to win that. But this is the team we are going to be sending out for our first Scottish Premier League game. We're going with Kelly in goal. A back four of Kuros, Lamy, uh, Johnson and O'Donnell. A Goss, uh, Miram, Miraman and Turney, Enfield, Towson, Spittle and Riviero up front. Let's see what we can do here. We've got to give a squad number two. Minimon, you can have the number 11, mate. Why the hell not? I'm not going to hold it against you. I'm not going to offer you a different one because you've been offered that so just take it there's a good boy <coughs> that is good that is good i'm currently playing supercar as i'm playing this as well i've just got royal rumble line in the background so i can hopefully pro up my um rocky johnson i can say it now because you guys would know that i've I, by now i've probably proed it it's maybe an f1 maybe an f2 I might even be an octane tier by now while um while this video when this video comes out i should say um just had to restart that one more game because i didn't have any of my cards my good cards come out to begin with so let's get into this game against um inverness we're motherwell we're not scunthorpe anymore we're motherwell let's see what we can do in our opening premier league fixture for motherwell it could be it this could be short-lived this could be short-lived um i'm thinking that because of me um, leaving me not resigning I'm not gonna resign I'm not gonna resign but hold oh, whoops <coughs> whoops what is whoops I really oh so on what have you done he's cleared it that's what he's done and um, we've got the ball back it's with Goss Tierney Goss Goss wax it up the field Ashcroft puts it out as well and we've won the back Miniman oh he's done oh Miniman meant to be one of our best players can't be doing that. Lansbury. Oh, I remember. Lansbury went to Inverness. He went to Polworth. And it's a goal for Inverness. Oh, dear. Well, that's not a good start, is it? Come 1 0 down. Oh, dear. We really should be positive against them as well. Oh, Christ. This is not good, is it? I mean, I know it's only 20 minutes into our opening league game. Oh, we've been. Oh, they've had a player sent off. Holt has been sent off for Inverness. Nice. Now we go attacking. Now we go attacking. And uh, is this free kick going to be a highlight? Unfortunately not. That's, um, that is a shame. 
I would definitely say this in a winnable game. Absolutely. Certainly now, we're half an hour in, we've had more shots on goal, we've had more shots on target, and we've got the player advantage because Inverness have had a player sent off. And we've just not done anything with it at all. Break just before half time. But it's not changed anything with the scoreline. It is still 1 0 to Inverness at half time. This, I mean, if we lose this, it would really not be ideal. I know it's the opening league game, but yeah, still. Right, Tierney now manages to hold on to the ball. Oh my god, how the hell is Spittle? I mean, Spittle only just got to that, didn't he? All right, we'll see. Right, Ashcroft whacks it forward. It's intercepted. Can we get this? We can. It's with Goss. Queros has got a little bit of space, a little bit of time. Puts over the top for Rivio. Rivio now. Rivio. Oh, and that was close. That was close. But that's what we need to do. We need to be getting our shots on. Uh, preferably on target, of course, because if we don't get them on target, we've got no flaming chance of scoring. Right, an hour into this, we're still 1-0 down, and this is really not a good start for us. And um, we're cracking... It's crap, McCracken. I hope his name. I hope his first name isn't Phil. Right, so on. Um, O'Donnell. Miriman now put bits of ball forward. That's an awful pass. I'm gonna have to look up his name after this. If it's Phil, I'm, I may, I may die laughing. Right, so home now. You realise we've got to get the ball up the field to score a goal, right? Kuros now coming forward. Miriman back to Lamy. Quiros to Lamy. Miriman now to Soheim. To O'Donnell. We're not playing like we have the man advantage here. O'Donnell now. Spittle. Spittle puts it over the top. For Riviero. And he scores. Come on. Get in there. So we've equalised. That's good. That's very nice indeedy. Um, Cornelius, I'm going to look at bringing you on for Goss if that's okay. And I think if we got someone that can come on the centre back, I think you can, can't you? You maybe? That'll do. It's two changes. Hopefully we can go on and win this game now. I th certainly think we've been the better team. Uh, Kelly get, gets the loose ball. What's he going to do? Gets it to Goss, to Lammy. I'm not a big. I'm, I have to admit. Early on, I'm not a big fan of Goss. Spittle with a free kick. Spittle shoots. Oh, that's close. That was close. O'Donnell for him, yeah. Uh, I trust the assistant. I trust the assistant here. All right, 15 minutes left. We need a goal. We do need a goal. Right, let's encourage. All right, we have another highlight here. Can, is this for us? Oh, my God. If we don't win, if we lose this, I'm... I, I won't resign, but I'll be close to. Right, Shaughnessy now. Oh, Leon Foster's done well there. Leon Foster with a shot, and it's wide. It was a good effort. He had a bit more, I think he had a bit more time than what he thought he did. Quiros for Bramall, that's fine. Dem oh, we can't even demand more. Right, we're into added time. Bramall. Oh, is that... That's a good. That's actually a really good pass. All right, Spittle now tries to put it through to Turney, and he does. Turney, Turney shoots. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, we drew. We oh, we deserve so much better than that. We were really good. Twenty-one shots, nine of those on target to Inverness's one on target. Oh. That is annoying, but it is encouraging in a way because we were we were really good. It's just we didn't win. That is a game we really need. Those are the kind of games we really do need to win, guys. Oh, that's really disappointing. We couldn't win that. Really isn't. But a scouting update. I mean, we're having to look at free transfers now. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I mean, of course we can afford 6 to £8.75 million for a player who's only slightly better than Adam May. Oh, really? All right, ability. I mean, we need to be... look as a right back. Okay. I mean, I could generate some money if I, if I wanted to. We've got 15... I mean... Let's give us a bit. Let's give ourselves a little bit more money, so we could maybe 
we could maybe afford this guy over installments of course so if I was to say offer 150 up front and then we offer installments of I don't know 950 there or do that would you accept that no, you wouldn't. Okay, that's fine. Let's put this down a little bit. Let's offer you one. Let's offer you one seventy-five, and then we'll offer you that. There we go. That's better. A new right back coming in. Do we desperately need a new right back? I would say, possibly. This guy's thirty-two, and he could be a backup for both fullbacks then. So I would certainly accept that. Right, this guy. Oh, he's not sure. Okay, so QPR. He would be interested in QPR. I am. I will improve the coaching team if I'm allowed to, obviously. Um, I'll cut that and I will give you that. Good man. Good man. So he is wanted by QPR as well. This would be a good sign in if we could get him. Right, I will update you on that transfer, but now let's get to Malmo. Best of my knowledge, we are the only ones to make the bid for that Brazilian player. Don't ask me to say his name. Um, I don't think QPR have submitted a bid yet. If they ha if they do, then I will obviously update you on that. So this is the team we are sending out to Malmo. We are going to be going with a balanced mentality for sure in this game. So we'll see what we can do. Let's submit the team. I'm expecting a loss here. I'm expecting to probably go out of the competition between now and the next video. Well, I say between now and the next video. Now and including the next video because we are going to be doing uh, the second leg of Malmo in that video. I mean, we'll see actually because depends if we lose 3-0 here then I probably won't show you the second leg because yeah because I don't if we lose 3-0 then I don't think there's any chance of us getting through anyway so we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll, we will see and I think this was the team that won 13-0 I'll tell you what can we um let's have a look at them actually because I'm sure they won 13-0 in that game yes they did so they beat they beat Bala in Wales 13-0 and then beat them 8-0 at home. Oh my god. Oh my god indeedy. Right, 20 minutes into this game. Was this game playing while I was away looking at that team? It, it could have been. It actually could have been because the music was still on in the background. It normally stops. But I guess we'll see. Right, we have a corner here. 31 minutes in. Goss with it. So I can't quite with a header, but Goss still with the ball. Goss. Flicks it in, it's cleared, but Lammy will get to this. Lammy to Goss, who's got space. Puts it over the top for Spittle. Oh, and it's just over. Good effort, not bad. Not bad at all. No, oh, Kundrup. Oh, I'm going to have to... That's just reminded me of that Inverness player that I need to look up. Oh, Goss. Oh, Goss, what are you doing, you dick? Oh, and Pearson's in for Malmo. Malmo puts it in to Goodson. Suborton. Oh, I don't know. Something beginning with S and ending in N. Oh, gosh, you tit. Bloody Nora. Right. Uh, we're going to win this. We have Towson now. Towson puts it over the top. Riviero, who's pretty much one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. What's he going to do? Riviero put wide. Ah. Get a, that went down. I can't even speak. <laughs> Literally, why can't I even speak? Blimey. Right, half time. Nil nil. This is actually not bad. We have been the better team. We have been the better team. I'm satisfied with the performance. Absolutely. I will agree with you on that. Wow. Okay. Seventy minutes on the clock, and it is still nil-nil. We'll make that change. Looks like Malmo have been better in the second half. We have just over ten minutes now to hold on to a nil-nil. We hold on to a nil-nil, then obviously I am going to show you the second leg. But even 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 if we lose one nil, I'll probably end up showing you the second leg anyway, because you know at home we have a chance. Ryan Broom will come on for O'Donnell. That's fine. Then a Miller on for Towson. Again, we'll make that change. And one more. Uh, Foster will come on for uh, Quiros. 
Right, so just over five minutes left. Can we hold on to this? I think we deserve to. A nil-nil, I think, would be a fair result. Maybe a score draw would be actually fairer. But we've gone to Malmo, and we've got... And we're nil-nil. That's not bad. I will take that, guys. I will take that. Didn't get the result we wanted. What? That was not a bad result. That was not a bad result. We didn't lose. And, you know, we're at home in the next game. And we win it. I think we get through to the league phase. And, oh, my God. And we will have videos for you then. Jesus Christ. We didn't... F yeah, but... He's now played 12 matches without scoring. I mean, I get that, man. But you came on as a sub then. Don't be don't be too hard on yourself. No reason to be too hard on yourself there. Right. Schedule. We know what we... Oh. No, it's not changed. I was just, just looking at that and I was like, oh, that's weird. But it's not weird. It's just me being a tit. Right. Um, Inverness. We, ha we saw the McCracken. It's John McCracken. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not going to piss myself laughing because it's not Phil McCracken, which would be really, really funny. We have a new best player. Sad thing is, we can't use him in the opening game. So we have a brand new player, Mateus Inho. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. 25 years old, not capped at any level for Brazil. But he's four, and a, he's four stars, which is pretty good for us. He joins us from ATP in Brazil, of course, for £1.4 million. Of course, most of it is on instalments. I am not an idiot. Um, Finances-wise, uh, we're not looking too bad. We've got a little bit of uh, transfer budget left. We are over the wage budget now. So um, we're currently spending that. Uh, because are we still waiting on a transfer or two? Uh, we are. Burrito. Uh, burrito. I might be hungry. Um, I'm not actually. Um, a loan signing. Um, another player we're waiting on for a work permit. Again, Brazilian. Again, not capped. But a defensive midfielder, which is something we really do need. Because Goss is crap, basically. So there we go. So in this game, I mean, I say in this game... Um, between the last, uh, between now and the last episode, we did draw 1-1 at Dundee United. It was a uh, last-minute equaliser from Mark Ferry, his first goal of the season, so I will most certainly take that. Now, we play Malbo first. Obviously, we can't use our new sign in Mateus and Ho because he's not registered for it, but he will feature in the game against Falkirk. So, guys, let's get into it. Right, after me popping out for a few jobs and a few hours later, plus a McDonald's because I was hungry, this is the team we are sending out to face Malmo and uh, England are 3 0 up at half time as well. So I thought I'd keep you update on me watching the World Cup while recording videos for you guys. Why the hell not? So we are going with Kelly and Goal, a bat for Krios, Lammy, Solomon Johnson, and O'Donnell. May, Miriman, and Tierney in midfield with Towson, Towson and Spittle supporting Riviera up front. Um, might have mentioned this in the previous clip, not sure. I currently have some work done in the house, so you may hear the odd drill or saw or something in the background. Um, it is like the opposite end of the house, but I can hear it quite clearly. So um, you guys might be picking it up, I'm really not sure. I'm just having a bit of work done in my kitchen because having some more units installed, you know, might as well make use of the space if you've got it. So um, we're going to go on to key highlights, of course, and uh, the Mamo keeper just wandering around with the ball there. So any odd tee... Oh, Burnley. But how are Burnley in this competition? Blimey. Oh, no, that's not good. He is absolutely boned as well, isn't he? He is moving with the ball relatively okay. He gives it back to Quiros. It's Miriman with a shot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and Merriman has scored a cracking goal. Wow. Get in there. Oh, Merriman, take a bow. Thank you. Wonderful stuff. That's been put over the top, but we will get to this. Kelly uh, takes control. And wax it right up the field. Can we win this? Not straight away. We've got it back through Rivio. Rivio, okay, very weird pass there. Lamy on the ball to Quiros, to May, across to Miriman, the goal scorer. Quiros, back to Lamy. Lamy to Quiros. Quiros, turning back to May. May tries to put it over the top for Riviero, who I think's onside, and he scores. Is that going to count? No, I didn't think he was going to. Yeah, I thought that was offside. That's fair. That is fair. 
off camera, uh, I uh, wandered into the uh, Europa Conference League bit, and I think there is another qualifying round that we've got to go through before we get to the group stage. So, um, more than likely, I'm going to show you that should we get there. So, um, you got that to look forward to. So, there. There we go. Right, Spittle with a free kick just before half time here. He tries to whip it in. Lammy can't win it, but we have it back through Spittle. Spittle now on the edge of the box. Spittle. Still there, he goes back to O'Donnell. O'Donnell, what's he going to do? Puts it into Tierney. Oh, and it's been deflected in, and it's 2-0. And we lead Malmo. 2-0 at half time. This is wonderful stuff. Come on. And this is working wonders for our bank balance. Get in. Come on. Wonderful stuff. 2-0 at half time against Malmo. And uh, I am very happy. Very, 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 very happy. Come on. Right now, Malmo have the ball here in their third. Can we win it back? Oh, we might. No, maybe not yet. Not yet, at least. We have won it back now. Miraman now. Lovely ball there to Rivio. Puts it on a plate for Bamel. Oh! That's a really good opportunity there as well. That was really good. And it's been cleared. Bramel now. Bramel across to O'Donnell. Donnell takes a touch too far there. Right, Adam May for Sean Goss. That's fine. We'll make that change. No problem at all. And we've got 10 minutes. Just over 10 minutes to hold on to this now. And we're looking good for it. We have been the better team here. It's now Goss. Goss lumps it over the top. And Spittle will get to this. Spittle's in the box. Spittle shoot. Oh, and he hits the post. That is a really good effort as well. I think it's time to make another change or two. Right, we'll bring Campbell on for Johnson. And we'll bring uh, Leon's Foster on for uh, O'Donnell. And we'll bring Ferry on for Octavio. Because why the hell not? Because I'm firm in those subs. Ten minutes to go. And we're looking good. We've not been prolific by any means. But um, we've, we've had four shots on target. Same as those. But we have had so many more efforts on goal. And we're looking good. Quiros, is he going to have a shot? No. Bramall. Bramall to Miraman. Merriman to Turney. Turney, have a dig. Come on, man. Have a dig. Oh, such a tame effort, man. Such a tame effort. But there you have it. 2 0 win over Malmo. Come on. That is what I'm flaming talking about, baby. That is the stuff. That is the stuff. That is cracking, cracking stuff. Really happy with that. How much money is that netted us? Because this just gives me like vi like flashbacks to the um, to the thing we did with Kiwi Ely. Oh, Towson's out for three weeks. That's not good. Got eighty five k. I'm guessing we're gonna get if we get knocked out soon. I'm guessing we're gonna get a lot more fixture rearrangements. So we've got Falkirk still coming up, and we're playing Zelina. So, again, this is another game that I'm going to have to show you. A Slovakian team. And General... They're, like, the same as what we faced the last two rounds. So, that's winnable. I would definitely say that that is definitely winnable. I mean, do I still... <sighs> I'll still show you the Falkirk game because you can see a few of our new sign-ins in action. And we'll probably, uh, like, start a few youngsters as well. Uh, like... Uh, Johnston, uh, maybe Clark, uh, Frankie Wilson, David, Mel David Miller, uh, Dylan Wells possibly. See what I mean in the background noise. You might be picking that up or not. I'm really not sure. But anywho, uh, we still have a couple of transfers ongoing. So uh, Barreto and Chris, Chris Cohen as a coach. Um, I've only decided to bring him, bring him in because there was a clause in someone's that someone wanted. Like I promised him that I would uh, bring in... Like, was it you? Was it you that I promised that I'd bring in a better coaches? Uh, it might have even been him. Yeah, it was him. That's cool. But he's on a long-term contract, and I'm not expecting to make a loss on him. 
when we sell them, if we sell it, well, let's face it, when we sell them, let's be honest. <laughs> but there we go. Um, I'm going to have to take a brief pause because um, I'm going to have to go out now and do a couple more jobs. It's just my work schedule. You guys know it how it is. But um, unless there's any other business, I'll see you for the Falco game. Two hours later, here we are for the Falco game. I have made a few changes, as you can see. I've not gone overboard. Uh, Matei Ho has his first start for the club. We also confirmed the loan signing of Barato, or I'm going to have to call him Burrito now. Um, we did sign Chris Cohen as a coach, and um, he still thinks... Yeah, um, but you know Cohen's not actually that bad, so I guess we'll see. So uh, we're giving the um, up front to uh, Ferry today. Hopefully he can come in with a goal or two. Number will have to be given to Matasenho, and he is going to be the number twenty-one because why not? A cracking performance by England, one in six-two against Iran. Not bad at all. Cracking, cracking stuff. Um, my phone case has now come, which is uh, which I'm really happy with. It's um, it's a lot bigger than what I thought it would be. Like the actual case itself. I mean, it holds the phone in really, really nicely. But um, the actual case, I've got four slots for cards or money, and then there's a money pocket underneath as well. So that's nice. It's very shiny because it's silver. Quite happy with that. Although silver and red, do they go together? Kind of, maybe, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's get into this game against Falkirk. I'm hoping for a good performance here. And uh, a nice debut for Matason Ho. I think Falkirk are in the Cinch League 1, maybe the Championship. So this should be a straightforward win. And we really shouldn't be positive. Goss! Oh, he hits the crossbar. Maybe even attacking, because originally I believe this was an attacking tactic. Um, for the life of me, I cannot actually remember now. Hello, doggy. Got a dog by my foot now. Hello, are you are full now? You've had your food? That's good. Right then, allow me to Quiros. Quiros, coming forward. Oh, gives the ball away. That wasn't very good. That's with Henderson now for Falkirk. The um, Premier Sports Cup, whatever this is called, <clears throat> is a very short competition by all accounts. Um, because we get through this round. Oh my god, what are you doing? Right, Lamy to Quiros. Quiros to Goss. Goss, oh, he's lost the ball so easy, but we've won it back. It's Quiros again. Lamy. This highlight is going on for a bit longer than anticipated, but Campbell whacks it forward. Henderson does collect it very nicely and coming forward for Falkirk. Out to McCann on the left-hand side, 22 minutes in. I have a feeling this is for Falkirk here. And they've scored. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's not good. That is really not good. I mean, should Celtic or Rangers or both get knocked out? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh dear, oh dear indeedy, oh wow, okay, we're going again, this isn't good, <laughs> Clark on the left hand side, very audacious pass there, Hill heads it clear to Morrison, can we win this back? We can somehow. Right, Campbell, May. Down to Spiritual, puts in Ferry, and Ferry scored. He's got a goal back. 2-1. Mark Ferry getting a goal back. Nice one. And can we get on level terms before half-time? <coughs> Unfortunately not, but towards the end of that first half, things were encouraging. Um, I'm going to still berate them because that was just piss poor. We shouldn't be losing against Falkirk. This is silly. Um, a taste in the Oh, I've made himself a poor groin. Oh, Christ. I think it, I think it, it did say that he should be able to get through it. Lammy heads it back to Kelly. Bit of an overreaction there for that, isn't it? Kelly throws it out to Matei Ho. And still see we have a Annoying dog in the background. Right, Goss with a bit of space here. Puts it over the top. But for Clark to chase, he's not going to get to it, is he? Kerr does get it back. It was to Morrison who kicks it right up the field. But we have won it back to give it away. But Goss has managed to pull. And Clark is on side. Oh, and Stuart Clark has scored. 
No, he hasn't. He's been disallowed. I had a slight feeling that he was offside. That's annoying. Right, we're demanding more because this. I mean, why are you getting annoyed? Why are you getting annoyed? I don't get it. Right, we're going to have to go very attacking now because this is not good. Right, we have a corner. Goss to take. That's been cleared. And May gets to it. May slips a nice ball through to Ferry. Across the Spiritual. Or Spittle, I should say. And we've equalised. No less than I expected. Now let's go on and win this, please. We'll drop back to attacking and we'll encourage. Uh, Spittle needs to come off. So you can come on. We'll bring Octavio on for <coughs> Farry. And oh, Tom on for Quiros. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, we'll encourage just before. Right, do we go? Yeah, we got extra time here. Great. Okay. That'll be good for the legs. I mean, I'm disappointed because we couldn't beat them in regulated time. You know. What on earth? What's going on here, guys? This is silly. Right, Dean Cornelius is coming on at 4... May, and it's always the same. You never have a highlight during the first part of extra time. It's always the same. Right, very attacking now. Right, okay, that was weird. Right, come on, demand. No, we're not going to demand more because there's a highlight here. Clark back to O'Donnell. O'Donnell slips it in. It's Clark. Broom, and it's a goal. And we've completely turned it round. We lead 3-2. And that's good. Thank you. It's got a positive now for the last couple of minutes. It's been held up the field again. And Goss now. Goss cuts to Broom. Broom with a cross. And Clark with the header. Tame effort, really. Morrison hurls it up the field with a free goal kick. And it is Falkirk still on the ball. Morrison oh, is giving it away to O'Donnell. O'Donnell whacks it up. And we've got it back. Broom now. That's Foster. Goss. Goss out to Clark on the left-hand side. Clark has actually played relatively well here. <laughs> I say that and then he gives the ball away. Right, and we want it back. Cornelius now. Cornelius tries to get it through to Clark, but he can't. He'll wax it up the field. But Oliver now, for Falker. Oh, well done, Campbell. Well done. That's why I like having the get stuck in instruction on. And we've conceded a corner. I'm, th I'm thinking we're gonna, it's going to be full time. It is. And we've managed to turn it around and win the game 3-2 after extra time. Um, that was a good win. Well done. We were 2-0 down, so it is a good win in my eyes. It really is. So we will take that. But we are through to the quarterfinals now, which I guess is good. It will be another cup on the CV should we manage to do it. Um, but we'll see. We will see. But um, I'm really happy with that. Uh, that's the thing. I mean, I'd really like to sign him. I mean, some of these I would really kill for. If I could just have, like, 20 million and sign all these players, we could be competing for the title. Trying a new tactic. So, um, I have actually played a couple of games since the previous video, instead of just going straight in. Now, um, I did play the first leg against Alina. We did draw 1-1, where Cohen Bramall put us 1-0 up. Uh, we were pegged back in the 49th minute, just into the second half, uh, but we didn't do too bad. Um, I'm quite happy we managed to get away with a draw there. Uh, but then, we had a first win of the season in the league, where we beat St. Marin 2-0, where I did test this tactic out. Now, it is basically just another version of FM DNA's one. It's just I actually downloaded this off the FM Scout website. Um, I thought it would be a good idea, you know, save me 
me swapping, changing, doing this, that, and the other. Um, yeah, it looks all right to me. Um, it is normally attacking, but you know, I don't think we've got the strength and depth to be constantly attacking. That's not really my style. It won't be with Motherwell anyway. But anyway, um, we have also made a bid to sign a legend. Now, I'm not going to show you yet. I think it's going to go through. He might be 35. It might only be a short-term deal. But, yeah. I think it's going to go through. If he doesn't meet my expectations, then I'll probably cancel it. Because there's only, what, a week left until the end of the transfer window at this point. So, I guess we will see. So, this is the team we are sending to the second leg against Alina. Obviously, we are playing this leg at home. With Kelly in goal, Quiros Lamy, um, Maccabi and... Um, Mateus in Ho at the back, a Goss in defensive midfield, May in central midfield, playing as that Roman playmaker. See, see what I mean? It's basically the tactic that FMDNA put out. Uh, Bram Tierney and Spittle as the three man attacking midfield and Riviero up front. Let's see how we get on here. We're sticking with a positive mentality considering we are at home. And yeah, let's hope we can get through against them because should we? Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be getting a, f a fair chunk of money in. And you know what? The more money we can get, the more transfer budget I can get, I can get and the more wage budget I can get. That would be really sick. Um, I would really... If it was possible, if it was possible, I would really like a 5, 6, 10 million pound transfer budget just to completely, completely transform this team. Let's go to key highlights now. And we've won... No. Oh, it was a goal. No, not quite. Alright, so opening 10 minutes, we have had three shots on goal, one of them on target, which is good. Um, what's not good is Zelina have the ball here. Teeny whips. No, nope, Teeny. No, nope, Kelly gets the ball. Alright, back to Kelly. Now, I'm pretty sure, I'm like 100% sure actually, that by the time you're watching this, I would have been and gone on my holiday. Uh, me and the missus are uh, um, off out somewhere. Um, we're um, just going away for a few days with the dogs. Because um, we've got a few days off together. So, uh, we're going on Wednesday. So, I'm recording this on Monday. We're going on Wednesday. And... Um, We'll be back on Monday. That's why I really wanted to try and get ahead on videos. But this is coming out like a week after. <laughs> now, come on. Yeah. Matei Ho scored a goal. 13 minutes in. Beautiful stuff. Come on. Beautiful. So um, it's basically. I've managed to get really ahead. Considering I dropped the schedule. To just one football manager video a day. Which to be perfectly honest. I think is absolutely fine. It was a lot more than what you were getting recently. You know. F for the last 3-4 months. There's not been any kind of schedule at all. I just basically decided to quit the Enfield of Dream save. Because it just wasn't getting the views. And I wasn't really enjoying it to be perfectly honest. This is certainly different. I'm liking it. I'm not 100% sure if I want to stick with Motherwell at this moment in time. But I guess we'll see. Oh, we've gone 2-0 up and Ricky Lamy has scored. And it's 3-1 on aggregate. 2-0 on the night. And we are looking good for a Europa Conference League league phase. You would have seen the Champions League league phase in the Leicester B to save. And... Literally, the Europa Conference League is going to be exactly the same format. Oh, Bramall's in. Oh, he scores. Cohen Bramall makes it 3-0. And we are looking incredible. That is wonderful stuff. Come on. Oh, baby. So, I think at the minute on my, like, schedule list, I've got... Like up into the like tenth of December scheduled, I have not got a clue. Oh my god, what is Kelly doing? That was just stupid. He like punched it like two foot. And Zelina have a goal back. Oh, Netherlands have scored as well. <coughs> right, Riviero now. Can he do? He holds up play. Gives it to Quiros. Who puts in Bramall. And Bramall. Oh, I thought he'd scored. 
Ah, oh, right. Well, no harm done. It's 3 1 at half time. We're looking really good. Uh, we've had a lot of shots on target, so I am satisfied. And I think three goals is the most we've scored in a game as Motherwell boss at the moment. So I'll take that, certainly. And we are looking very good. 19 shots, sorry, 20 shots. F just five of those on target, so that has to be, that has to change. I'm going to be doing St. Johnston as a second part of today's video as well. Away from home in the league. Um, I'm also going to be showing you Ch uh, Chelsea. I meant Celtic as well. Right, Adam is in. Mohamed Adam. That was awful. Oh, and we got a penalty. Riviero will take it. And Matejs and needs to come off as well. Shall we do that now? And he scores. Get in. Campbell on for McGabby. And we'll have Ferry on for Octavio as well. Is there anything? Is that his? Yeah, that's his. It's gone. That's fine. Max Johnson. Yeah, that's fine. There we go, guys. That will do. 4 1 up. We are going through to the league phase by the looks of it. I am really happy. Uh, yeah, this tactic is good. This tactic's good. Thank you, FMDNA. And thank you to whoever, whoever uploaded this to the FM Scout page. Oh, Kelly, I thought you might have bundled that again. But it's all good. We're good. That is good. So 5 2 on aggregate over both legs. And uh, yeah, we deserve that. We were really, really good in that game. I am very happy indeedy. Well done. Long may this continue. If I know we've got like a. I think it depends on how we do this season. If we make it in the top four in the SPL and what budgets I get in the summer. If we don't get like significantly good, like really good budgets, then I am probably going to look to leave in the summer because. It's not ideal. Oh, oh, there you go. That's what I'm on about. We've got two point. We got two and a half million pounds there. So that's nice. That is really nice. So that is for reaching the league league phase. That is cool. That is cool. Right. So, do we have fixtures out for this league phase yet? Oh, we do. Okay. Right. So Shamrock Rovers. That's interesting. Okay. Wow, so you've got... Oh my god, we're playing Rosenborg. Uh, this team, I remember a few years ago, this team was in the Champions League group phase and they went and won at Real Madrid. So we've got Shamrock Rovers. I would say that's a winnable game. I would say that this is winnable. They're two stars. We can beat those. We have beaten three three-star teams in our run-up. So we've got Shamrock Rovers, Transfer Sport. Now they're a better team. Three and a half, yeah, so that could be a tricky game. Dynamo Kiev could be tricky. Quarabag, ain't got a flaming clue. Azerbaijan team, they are three, also three and a half stars, so they could be tough. Um, Rosenborg, we know they're tough. You are a Moldovan team, and you're two and a half stars, so you're roughly about the same level as us. Oh, is that... Oh, there's only six. So is there only six? Yeah, there's only six fixtures by all accounts. Wow, okay, fair enough. So you will still be seeing St. Johnston in this video. Uh, you know what? I may just show you the Celtic game instead. Because I want to show you Celtic because of... See how we match up against one of the big biggest teams in the league. Or the biggest team in the league, I should say. So we'll see how we get on there. And then we'll just come back in the next video and show you Shamrock Rovers. And maybe Aberdeen and Shamrock Rovers. I don't. I probably won't show you all these because of all the all I did with the Leicester save, showing you all the like qualifying games and stuff. I will show you most of them, but I'm not going to show you all of them. So I'll show you Aberdeen and I'll show you Celtic today. I'll do the St Johnston one off camera, and um, we'll do Shamrock Rovers. We'll do Aberdeen and Shamrock Rovers. Then we'll come back and probably do Rangers and uh, Dynamo Kiev. Then after that, we'll probably do the like. Quarabag and Hibernian. And then after that, we'll probably do a three-game special, Rosenborg, Celtic, and Sharif uh, Terra uh, Spol. And we'll see where we are. But 
I, I'm guessing it's the same concept as the... Oh, why are we bottom? Why are we bottom? Any reason why we're bottom? That's weird. That's weird. Why are we bottom? I ain't got a clue there, guys. But there we go. I'm really happy with that. Now, um, we've got a few weeks to simulate through. Obviously, I've got deadline day to do as well. Um, I'm pretty sure it's soon. Can we see? Yeah, transfer window shots on the 3rd. So... I'm not sure what's going to be happening in the meantime, but with budgets, I've got no money. And if this deal for the legend goes through, we are going to be well over our wage budget. So there is that. We have got more balance now. Now we've got a bigger balance. I wonder if it's worth me asking for more money. Make board request, finance, increase transfer budget. Let's have a look. Let's go forward a little bit. And we'll see. If they increase my transfer budget, that would be very nice. Because I've just earned them a buttload of cash. So if they give me a bit more money, that would be nice. So nothing through so far. We'll just hit quick pick. We'll just hit... Um, I say quick pick. That's a bloody uh, pet peeve of mine. Right. Um, no, I've still got a little bit of time. Uh, no, nothing through yet. Uh, oh, there he is. Well, yeah, Mesut Ozil. We have delayed you to work permit. So you may b very well see him arrive if I decide to confirm the transfer or not. I'm not 100% sure if I do want to do it. I think he'll. I think he'll still be good here. I've had nothing to say about the finances. There's been no board response to it yet. Bernie and Queen's Park. Is that a Premier League game? Scottish Premier League game, I should say. Oh, it is. Queen's Park are here. Fair enough. Come on, I'm not... Uh, I haven't missed it. I don't think I've missed it. Oh, here we go. Right, so we need to appeal his work permit. Oh, so you probably won't actually get one. That's great. And what about this? And we've been rejected. Uh, right, I'll tell you what, let's have a meeting about this. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Oh, someone's a bit touchy. So it's looking unlikely we're not going to be getting Mesut Ozil anyway. Are we getting confirmation on this, or... Oh, no, because it, we'll find out tomorrow on it, won't we? Oh, God. It, <sighs> I've got transfer deadline day to go through, or whatever. Uh, so... I guess we'll, um... I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens with Ozil. But, um... Right, can, how about the wage budget? Will they give me more wage budget? Increase wage budget, please. I am gonna need I am gonna need some because what you've given me is just not enough. You know, Celtic have like <coughs> ten times what we have. That's just not good enough. And we've got a hell of a lot of money. You know, we've made so much profit this season because of what we've just done. And I've done transfers on the never never. So Ferry gets runners up there. I'm guessing someone there's a lone player. I think it's Danny Morton, maybe. I can't remember. I really can't remember. Training. 
whatever. Right, um, this rec this clip's gone on for quite a long time, so... Oh! It's been accepted, but... Can I adjust the budget? Yes, I can. Let's hit continue. Is he going to be good enough? I p pray that he's good enough. Is he good enough? He's not really, is he? He's not. He's not really. But, I mean, to be fair, we do have a Shadow Striker role. I mean, his finishing isn't great. First touch is good and passing and technique's good. You know what? I'm actually... I think we'll be fine. We paid over the odds to get him. We paid like 50 grand up front. That's it. <coughs> It'll be fine. It will be fine. And he's there. And he's probably going to play to, in this game against St. Johnston as well. So there we go. So, former Arsenal and... Uh, Real Madrid, Werder Bremen, all of that legend has joined Motherwell. Can't write this stuff, can you? If I hit quick pick now, he's not in the team. He's on the bench. Okay, that's not bad, I guess. Right, I'm going to play St. Johnston. Uh, see if there's anything worth doing on deadline day. At this moment in time, I'm not going to be doing anything because I don't have the money to do anything. But, guys, we'll be back shortly. We got the win. Bad news. We've got seven yellow cards and two injuries. Yeah. On the bright side, Meza Ozil got an assist, which is good in his first game. Okay, some of those injuries were actually quite bad, up to six weeks out. O'Donnell is out for another just on just under two weeks. And Turney is still out for up to three weeks. Um, other than that, it's not too bad. Um, but this is the team we are going to be sending in our game against Celtic. So, um... Yeah, I don't have a lot of faith, I must be honest. But we're sticking with a positive mentality. Both teams are unbeaten. That could end today. It probably will. And it will probably be us that have been beaten. Um, relatively convincingly, possibly. But I guess we'll see. Let's go to the dressing room. See what we can do. No need to be nervous, boys. No need at all. Let's just see what we can do. We're in good form. We are in good form. So, um, let's see what we can do. Let's see. Well, we're not conceded in the opening five minutes. That's good. I mean, a draw here would be absolutely fine. More than acceptable. Um, it will uh, uh, keep going a decent start to the season. 20 minutes in, we've not had a single shot on goal yet. So, let's encourage. Uh, right. Okay, so Celtic have the ball. Is it in? Lamy with the partial clearance. Barreto. Oh, oh God. I Really bad feeling then. Uh, but Spittle now. Chance to break. He's got a little bit of time. A little bit of space. Tries to put it over the top, but it is intercepted. That was not a good clearance. That was not a good ball, was it? Lamy's gone out of position there, and he's conceded pos not conceded possession. Yotta now for Celtic. Yotta, is he going to get a ball in? Oh, get lost. He got the ball. That's, that's bollocks. That's bollocks. He got the flaming ball. He actually got the ball. And Juranovic with the chance to put Celtic 1 0 up. Oh, and Kelly saved it. Come on. And Barreto with the clearance. Beautiful. And we have a chance to break here. Broom. Oh, I think so it's just offside. Broom gives it to Spittle. Spittle now on this right-hand side. What can he do? Can he do anything with it? It is back to Soho now. And that's where the highlight fizzles out. Fair enough. Um, cracking save there by Kelly. I thought that was a certain goal when Juranovic hit it. But, um, and speaking of Juranovic, there he is. Taking the Celtic throw. Is that Fabian Shaw from Newcastle? Right. Oh, Lammy, that was a terrible header, man. But Barreto's won it back. It's Quiros to Soho now. Out to Spittle, who's lost the ball to Juranovic. And Juranovic, chance to break now. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> it's been put over the top. Quiros again. Should have headed that to the keeper. A batter, Estevez. Estevez with a cross in, and it's cleared. And Broom heads it on. We can't get the ball back here. But it's 40 minutes in. It's still 0-0. 
I'm, I'm assuming that's Fabian Scher. I could be wrong. Right, Juranovic now for Celtic. Yotta. Yotta across to Kaigu, and it's a goal. Bugger. I had a slight suspicion of offside there. Obviously not. And we go 1 0 down. Taysen Ho plays a 1 2 with May. Back to Sohome now. Mateus and Ho, he's lost the ball, May. I mean, Mateus and Ho is meant to be our best player. Barreto, again, we've just lost the ball. That's better. That's more like it. Barreto now. Barreto to Towson. Towson tries to swap it over to Spittle, and he can't. We are just... Oh, we're just really bad in some areas. And seriously, seriously, seriously. Oh, my God. The Flaming Keeper gets credited with the assist for that. That's not fun. Yeah. Oh dear. Well, this is not good. Uh, they've been dreadful. They've been absolutely dreadful so far. We know that. You guys know that. Oh lord. Rivero, back to May. May across to uh, Spittle now. Spittle tries to cut it in. Brown to Barreto. Riviero. Barreto, Towson. Towson with a shot. Oh, and he's hit the bloody post. Cracking effort. Cracking effort. Rather unfortunate there. About 60 minutes on the clock. It is still 2 0 to Celtic. And nothing to really shout about in the second half. Bring Miriman on for May. Bring Campbell on for uh, Janssen. Bring Ferry on for Octavio. Why the hell not? Uh, Bramall on for Cross. Yep. And we might as well bring Foster on as well. May as well. A few youth players out there. And if anything, it looks like Celtic are going to score a third. We have, I mean, Celtic have not been their prolific, you know, we deserve to win 6-7-0 type of... Okay, you got to, fair enough. 6-7-0 type of uh, mood, but um, they have been good enough to win this game. We have not really been in it at all. We've not even mustered a shot on target, which is quite disappointing, considering we played really well against uh, Zelina just now. All right, Towson now. Towson back to Lamy. He had the chance there to break for um, Towson on the left-hand side, but he chose not to. Lamy now puts, tries to put it over the top. Ferry can't win it. Barreto heads it. Now back to Barreto. It's Miniman. Miniman out to Spittle. Spittle puts it in. And Towson. Oh. At least we must... That's a, That was a shot on target, thankfully. Bramall to Broom. Campbell now. Leon's Foster. Oh. Oh, come on. If you lose it, try and get it back, you useless piece of crap. Convalio. Oh, God. See, he lost the ball, but he had no intention of trying to get it back. That's what annoyed me the most then. Right, Campbell. Miniman. Barato. Leon's Foster. Back to Campbell. Campbell to Lamy, to Barreto, Barreto, lovely ball out to Bramall on the left hand side, Bramall can't get it in, Lamy, oh no, Lamy, back to Lamy, Lamy puts it over the top for Firm, for Ferry, Ferry wins the ball back, can Ferry get a shot here, oh my god, Well, we deservedly lose the game. We were much better than the second half. We're in the Premier Sports Cup semi-final against Livingston. The other one is between Hearts and Celtic. If Celtic get knocked out, we have a realistic chance of actually winning a cup here. 
I think that's good going to be perfectly honest. So before we get to Shamrock Rovers in our opening uh, Conference League game, we need to face Aberdeen. So let's get into this game. I do apologise about the coughing. I have still suffering a little bit. Um, did I show you this new tactic that I'm using? I honestly can't remember. Possibly? I literally cannot remember. Um, but it is um, a 4-2-3-1. I did try 4-2-3-1 in the... Um, What's it save with Leicester? It didn't go. It was alright for a bit, but it didn't last that long, really. But this is the team we are sending to Aberdeen. Kelly and Goal, Bramwell, Lamy, Mugabe, and Matissinho. Uh, Mat Matthias and Ho at the back. Goss and May in midfield with Towson, um, Ozil, and Broom supporting Ferry up front. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to go. Um, Aberdeen are a good team in this league. I would always have them finishing in the top four, top five maybe. I'm hoping that we could be there about this season as well, providing we last the season. I am going to be looking at other jobs. Um, I know it's just the fact that we're in Europe, but the budgets we've got, the wage budget, the transfer budget, it's just not enough to be competing in the league and in Europe at the same time. I mean, we're doing all right in Europe, but, you know, in the league, yes, we have only lost against Celtic, but we have drew a fair few games as well. But um, I'm hoping that it starts to gel in the league a little bit because we are around mid-table. We're expecting top half. But we did have a decent result against Hibernian drawing their place. Oh, there's me thinking, oh, where's the highlights? Forgetting that it's on only commentary. My bad. Uh, we've had a half-decent start, though. Two shots on goal, one of those on target. And uh, an actual highlight here. So Kelly out to uh, Lamy. Out to Bramall. Across to Towson. Towson back to Lamy to Towson. Goss now. Goss finds Bramall, who was awful there, has to be said. And Lamy with the ball. Goss. Bramall. Bramall, what's he going to do? He looks like he could run this on his own. Cuts it into Towson. Oh, that was an awful ball. Simpson goes back to keeper. And keeper kicks it upfield. Oh, and look at that. Lamy's done dreadful there. Meriski's in, and thankfully, he shoots over. But all that possession we had, only for it to be Aberdeen's flaming highlight. That's a bit disgusting, really. Right, Matthias, uh, Matthias and Hode. May. Ozil. Mugabe. Goss. Goss tries to put it over the top for... Oh, and he scores! Is that going to count? I had a feeling he was offside. But Ferry has scored. Lovely stuff. I thought the keeper was going to get to it. Ozil, Mugabe, Goss. Goss, actually, really nice pass there. I honestly thought Ferry was offside. I thought the keeper would have got to that, to be fair. But um, we'll take it. We will definitely take that. 1-0 over Aberdeen. Inside 25 minutes. Not bad. May out of Broom. Broom cuts it into Ozil. Lovely, lovely play here. Oh, and Fernie's in again. Oh, he should have scored. He should have scored. What is that keeper doing? Wowzers. Wowzers indeed. And half time, <coughs> we are leading by a goal to nil. This is good. Things are going well, but I know we're capable of better. That's, um, that's exactly it. That is exactly it. An hour gone. We have not been good, but Aberdeen haven't been great either. Mateus in ho for O'Donnell. That is fine. 70 minutes on the clock. It ball is with us in Aberdeen's third. O'Donnell to Ozil. Ozil to O'Donnell. O'Donnell tries to swap it over. It's with May. And it's Fernie. And he scores again. Mark Ferry. 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 Mm, it's not Furby. We'll go with Ferry. We'll go with Ferry. Like in the ocean. And he scores again. 2-0. Both for Ferry. 
Beautiful stuff. Beautiful little header. And we lead 2-0. That's why going with youth may not be a bad idea. Because the youth that we have could actually be pretty special. Cross for Bram. <coughs> Johnson on for Lammy. And one more. Go with... I think we'll go with David Miller on for Ozil. Right, so 80 minutes gone. We still lead 2-0. This is looking better for us. I mean, neither team has been absolutely fantastic, but we've been good enough to uh, nab a 2-0 win here. That is good. And uh, one of our youngsters in Mark Ferry got a brace and a decent result. Really happy with that. Absolutely happy with that. We weren't great. <coughs> You may notice I had a bit of a coughing fit towards the end of that clip, and yeah, I think I got it at just the right time. So, um, here we are for the game away against Shamrock Rovers in the Europa Conference League League phase. It's going to be really difficult for me to say that, but here we go. Uh, now, um, yeah, I actually forgot to register Moza Ozil for the game in the the Europa Conference, and he's not actually annoyed about it, which I don't really understand, to be honest. But uh, if we have a look, he's actually done all right in his first four games. Three starts, one sub appearance, two assists. So that's not actually that bad. So let's hit, let's hit this, shall we? Team selection. I'm going to stick with positive because I think this is a team we can actually beat. I'm going to stick with Ferry up front. He did really well against uh, Aberdeen just now. So um, I think we should stick with him because he's a good player. Absolutely. So let's do this. Let's flaming well do this, boys. I'd say this is a winnable game. Now, it looks like we only play six games and not uh, eight, like the Champions League. Uh, but um, it's all good. It's fine. Uh, we do face some tough teams like Toronto Spore. Uh, there is another really tough game in there as well. Uh, Quarabag, I think, is winnable. Uh, there's a few that I think are winnable. But, you know, if we can finish in the top 24 and qualify for the, you know, get a playoff to get through to the quarterfinal, I think that will be more than acceptable. Uh, now, how are we playing in these? We're playing them, playing Transaspore. We're playing. Oh, oh, we're playing that Sharif team, aren't we? Alright, Burke, now for Shamrock Rovers. Can we intercept this, please? We can. Lamy to May to Goss. Goss puts it over the top for Broom. Oh, it's a good save. It's a good effort. Forces a corner. We've got a lot of fans with us here today, which is really nice to see. So, anything in the top 24, I will most definitely accept. And that was headed away by Gaffney, um, Shamrock Rovers player. Of course, not my player. I would probably laugh at a name like that. So, we're playing... Uh, we're not playing them. We're playing them. I, I forget. I forget who we're playing. Playing Sharif, or Sheriff, however you want to pronounce it. Right, Cotter now for Shamrock Rovers. Goes back to Cleary. Cleary still with the ball. It's been put in. Oh, it's just over by Gaffney. I w wouldn't have laughed if he scored. Let's just say that. Right, throw into us. 35 minutes on the clock. Um, Not been a great game, I must admit. It's now with Lammy. Across to uh, Ta Towson now. Towson now coming forward. Got a little bit of space. Oh, he puts a lovely ball to Ferry. Oh, it's a cracking effort. And forces a corner. Getting the crowd all off their feet there. With the corner. And it's easily gathered by the Shamrock keeper. We're going to encourage. Now Shamrock have a corner. Spittle can't win that. He doesn't. To be fair, he did. He did win it. Oh, that was close as well. That looks like we're going into halftime at nil-nil. Um, it's actually been a little bit better than I thought. Um, we've had eight shots on goal, four of those on target. That's not actually that bad. 
I'm still going to say I'm unhappy with the performance, mainly because I view this as a winnable game. And I think if we have any aspirations of getting through to the, you know, finishing in the top 24, I just realised also I remember also playing Rosenborg. That is going to be a tough game. Uh, Cotter now on this right hand side. Cuts it into Watts. Thompson with a shot, and it's really close. Right, we're going to demand more. Right, Shamrock Rovers have been better so far in the second half. <coughs> McLean. Ah, oh, Mateus and Ho nicks the ball off him, and he's advancing the ball forward now. Can he lump it forward for Ferry? He can, and he has, and Ferry's on the ball here. Ferry shoots, and Ferry scores. Come on, baby. And we lead 1-0 at Shamrock Rovers in the Europa Conference League League phase. Come on. Beautiful goal. And Telson's injured. Phew. Four. Uh, it's going to have to be you that comes on for him, dude. Lennon Miller. And I'm also going to bring Barreto on for May. Why not? <laughs> so we lead 1-0 at Shamrock Rovers. This is good. It's the least I expected. Oh my god, what's the keeper doing? Phew, Mateus and Ho now. Coming forward again. Spittle. Oh, I puts it over the top for Broom. And Broom shoots. And Broom scores. Doubled the lead. 70 minutes gone. And that is wonderful stuff. Pretty much a carbon copy of the last goal. But it was Spittle to Broom instead of Mateus and Ho to uh, Ferry. I told you, going with youth. Going with youth. The youth are working, guys. If they're working, Ferry could be a really good player. Right, it's Cotton out on the right hand side for Shamrock. Shamrock cuts it into Watson. Goss, oh, he tries to get it back, but he can't. Still with Burke, Barreto. Oh, we've got the ball back and it's lumped forward. But McLean will get to this. It's with Lopez. Cleary. Right, Shamrock still coming forward. It's with Cotter on the right hand side. Cotter gets the ball in and it's a header and it's a goal. Graham Burke has got Shamrock back into this game. It's 2 1. It's not what we wanted. Right, 80 minutes gone. We're going to look at a couple more changes now. Mateus and Ho coming off. Uh, Quiros coming off and Goss coming off, I think. I have to go with that. I think it's just about right that we're, we're edging this today. I and mean, Shamrock, to be fair, have been better in the second half. Spittle. Broom. Can we win this back, please? Oh, it's been deflected. Can Miller get to that? He unfortunately can't. He can now. Miller now with the ball. It's into Miraman. Miramon to Lammy. Lammy puts it over the top to absolutely nobody. Watts. <coughs> Town now. Oh, and Ferry's going to nick the ball off him, and he does. And it's Perry, and he scores. Mark Ferry. He is brimming with confidence at the moment. And he scored his second goal of the day. Fourth goal of this episode. And we now lead 3-1 at Shamrock Rovers. Uh, this last game set and match now, guys. Awesome stuff. What a start. What a start. I say what a start. And it's not over yet. Oh my god. There was a hell of a pinball going on there. But we do can see the corner. Tau. It's in. And it's headed away by uh, O'Driscoll. O'Donnell. O'Driscoll is not a player anymore, is he? Silly me. Tau whips it in. Oh, and it's a good save there by Kelly. And lump this ball up the field, and we've got ourselves a win, I think. And that's exactly... Didn't even need to kick the ball up the field, and we've won. Awesome. I will most definitely take that, guys. I will definitely take that. 3-1 win at Shamrock Rovers. Absolutely cracking. Uh, Ferry has had a cracking game. Cracking episode for Ferry. 
and he's just won Young Player of the Month as well before those two games. So that's awesome stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm maybe not in such a rush to leave after all. Although we could lose next game, and I would completely change my mind again. Uh, but you know, that's me all over, isn't it? And you guys know that. Right then. Uh, it looks like we're frozen here. Um, it seems to be the common theme, really, for the last few videos. I don't know why my PC's been a bit of a bell end. It's a bit, yeah, it's a bit of a bell end, isn't it? Yeah. Right, we will um, have a look. Oh, okay, we're loading now, so. <coughs> Pardon me. We'll have a look at the schedule, see what we're going to be doing next video. Can't believe, I, the thing is, I can understand if there's a little bit of negativity going on in the comments. Obviously, I'm not sure because um, as I'm recording this, I've still got the Scumthorpe save out for about another week, maybe a bit more. Well, it'll be more than that because uh, I'm doing, I'm, sw I'm like changing, like swapping between the days. So you have to beat your save in the Hall of Famer save going. But guys, I had to cut the bit in between there because it was just taking so long to load the flaming schedule. It really did annoy me. So, I'm pretty sure we've got a uh, little schedule worked out for the next few videos. Uh, we are going to be playing through the rest of this month, apart from Rangers. I will be coming back to show you Rangers. But then you'll be seeing them. You won't be seeing St. Johnston. I'll be doing that game off camera. And we'll come back for Dynamo Kiev. Um, after that... I think we're going to be doing a cup double header where we do Livingston and Quarabag in the Europa Conference League. We win that. We're our first final here at Motherwell. And then after that, I'm probably just going to do Rosenborg, uh, Celtic and Sheriff Tiraspol. Terrace Bowl. We have had a little bit of a traffic light situation. We did beat um, both Aberdeen and Shamrock Rovers in that get in that episode. We then dropped points against Ross County. Now going into this game, Ross County had not got a single point, and we were two 0 down. But Super Sub was he a Super Sub? No, I'm just going to say Super Super Mark Ferry got a brace, and uh, thankfully we avoided defeat there. We got um, one sole goal against Queens Park to give us a win, and. Um, Funnily, we actually beat Transport 2 0 in the Europa Conference League, which was awesome. So really, really happy with that. But recently we just lost against Hearts in the Scottish Premier League Scottish Premiership. That does leave us sixth in the league. Now, with that being said, we are playing at Rangers in the opening game of today's video, away from home in the Cinch Premiership. And we're gonna miss the St. Johnston game, and then we're gonna come back and do Dynamo Kiev in the second part of this video. Should also mention that um, I've just polished off some crumpets and um, I part way through a cup of tea, so what could be more British? Um, and I ended up leaving my PC on all night as well, so this could end up being a bit slow in places, which, you know, is nothing new for you guys really, is it? So anyway, <clears throat> let's get into this game against Motherwell. Should also add it's really early in the morning because I didn't, I tried to go back to bed, but I couldn't. So uh, we are going with Kelly in goal, back for Quiros, Lamy, Johnson and Mugabe, uh, Barreto and May in midfield, Tallison, Turney and Broom in the attacking midfield options and Ferry up front. Quick pick keeps on wanting me to put Octavio in. Octavio? Why Octavio? Riviero is what I meant to say. Why my o Octavio? Nothing like a good cup of tea in the morning, guys. Nothing like a good cup of tea. Nothing like a good cup of tea. Can hear the uh, Coventry coming out of me now. <laughs> <coughs> right. Um, I'm going to just go out and women say this could be bad. This could actually be bad. Rangers are in good form uh, going into this game. And let's just say we're not. Well, we did end up losing the last game against Hearts, which is quite a disappointing defeat, really. Now, Sessignon. Rangers, he skipped past uh, Mugabe so easy there. 
Cessna on shoots and a decent save there by Kelly. I'm assuming that's uh, Brian Sessegnon from Spurs. I already see a few players that I recognise. It's not that one. It's this one. Like uh, Rangers. So you got Victor. I'm pretty sure that's Victor Wanyama. That could be Ben Davis. Avero Morelos, obviously. And Tillman whacks it over. 15 minutes in, Rangers have been by far the better team. I say by far. That one extra shot on goal. Ortega. I was hoping we could have intercepted that then. Sadly not. Yeah, I just anticipated that coming. Now it's Tavernier to take the Rangers penalty. And he scores. Of course he does. And this could be an absolute shellying. If you know, you know. You probably don't know. And it's probably not appropriate to say on YouTube. So I'm not going to. I mean, you can follow me on Twitch. And if I do stream on Twitch, then I probably will sh tell you then. But it has been on an ongoing thing the last 15 years or so which makes me feel flaming old I tell you that for nothing right one now at half time things could have been a lot worse hey Mugabe gets a partial clearance but we've lost the ball again and G through to Morelos who's one on one with the keeper and it's 2-0 and I need to fart excuse me you might, might have picked that up I'm not sure see this is what happens when I record videos really early in the morning I'm in a very weird mood in the morning, especially if I'm like, in a relaxed mood. Like I am now, because I've not got work for about two hours at this... Two and a bit hours at this point. Um, I've already had my breakfast, I've had my shower, I've had my morning business. Although, <laughs> that may suggest there's more to come. Right, May, Tierney now. Tierney puts it over the top for Ferry. Ferry controls it well. What can he do? He shoots and... Yeah... Uh, not the best effort, but uh, effort nonetheless. You're not counting that as a shot on target. That's a little bit harsh. I would say that is rather harsh. And easily gathered there by Kelly. Who rolls it out to Lamy. 1-2 with Barreto. Lamy forward now. Oh, and Ferry, he's managed to lose his man there. Out to Broom, he's in acres of space here. Can Broom put it back in? He can, it's Tierney. Oh! Really? Wow, that was easier to bloody score than miss. Oh, mate. I'm going to go out on a whim and say that is not Sadio Mane. That's... That'd be a diff... That would be... That'd definitely be a different money. Ferry's done really well there. Telson now on the ball. Back to Lamy. Oh, and Lamy's done terrible. What a, sh what a surprise. It's like the Antonio Silva. And Ryan Kent has somehow missed. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no doo doo. You know, I could have bloody told you that myself. He, and he is definitely coming off, yeah. Um, Tierney can come off. Miriman on for May. And Octavio on for Ferry. And we can have... I haven't got anyone that can play on the wing. I mean, Ozil can. Miller can go there. That'll do. 
That will do. A few tired legs coming off now, which is fine. I mean, I think 2-0 is not respectable, but, you know, it's not too damaging to the goal difference. And let's face it, we've been poor. We have been very poor today. Oh, Rivio unfortunately can't capitalise on that. But Ozil now on this left-hand side. What can he do from here? Ozil at 35 still has some decent stats. And Miller's in. And it's intercepted, unfortunately. But Broom goes back to Barato. Mugabe. Can we at least muster a shot on target? Broom. Broom. Oh, literally. Gross. Merriman. Barato. Barato over to Quiros, who keeps it in. To Ozil. Merriman. To Miller. And we scored. Is that going to count? Hey, that does count. We're back in it. Let's, let's see what we can do. Let's encourage. Come on, let's have one final shot. One final effort. Yeah, it's for Rangers. <laughs> and he's cleared only as far as Tavernier. And Riviero gets the ball back, but he's conceded it back to Tavernier. And Tavernier scored from a really, really awkward angle there. How on earth has he done that? Well, we had to go for it, didn't we? So, you know, we had to. 3-1. I mean, it's not the worst result in the world yes we've not got any points but have we done ourselves proud probably not but is this realistic absolutely absolutely can't fault the effort really the players are always going to struggle in games like this because the quality of Rangers in comparison to us is just ridiculous, really. You know. But there we go. So I'm doing the St. Johnston game off camera, and then we'll be coming back for Dynamo Chicken Kiev. The masterclass in the last 10 minutes gave us a quite convincing win over St. Johnston. I also applied for a job. Well, fresh off that 3-0 win over St. Johnston, we are going with more or less the same team that finished that game, apart from Ozil because he's unregistered, unfortunately. That's on me. That's on me. I completely missed that we never registered him. I'm really surprised I never got annoyed about it, but there we go. So, let's submit this team and uh, see what we can do against Dynamo Kiev. We are two wins from two in the Conference League so far. So let's hope we can continue this. You know, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a tough game. I'm very well aware of that. But um, we'll see. Key highlights now. Right, we've got a corner. Less than a minute into the game. Lamy to take. Whips it in and it's gathered by the keeper relatively easily. And we have another corner. Two minutes into the game. Oh, that one was close. Adam May just skimmed the top of the crossbar as that went over. But uh, we've started relatively well. Looks like a bruised ankle. That's not good. I think personally I'll just walk it off, but that's me. That was close. But we have certainly had the better of the play so far. 11 shots, three of those on target. 40 minutes into the game. We have another corner here, made to take. Oh, and look at that. Mark Ferry has scored again. He is in absolutely terrific form at the moment. His heading ability has just gone up as well. It's now a 14, which is absolutely cracking. We deserve this lead. We truly deserve this lead. We have been really, really good. Burnley are in this competition still. That's a strange one, considering they start the game in the championship. <sighs> 
Oh, it's still with Dynamo Kiev here. Apologies if you heard that yawn in the background. I'm still trying to wake up and Dynamo Kiev have equalised. You know what? I thought that was coming. It's only their second shot on target. I'm assuming this will update. Or is it their first shot on target? It might just be their first. Which if it is, is even worse. Considering we've been really good. Quiros tries to pop it into Turney and he does. Right, very. Lovely ball out to Bramall. Bramall across. Oh, and it's cleared. We're going to get to this, yeah. So home does. Mateus and home. To Spittle. Spittle. Lovely ball to Turney. Oh. I think this um, new system we're using is working better. Bramall tries to whip it in. May can't win the header. And Spittle wouldn't go down for a penalty. So yeah, that was Dynamo Kiev's first shot on target. And they scored from it. A little bit annoying, but, you know, it does happen, unfortunately. And a lot of the time it does go against us. But um, I'm satisfied so far. Um, I did have this down as one of those games that we would struggle in. Um, I would probably say it's more closer to a defeat, really, but, you know, um, a point here, um, at this point, I would still say a point is acceptable, but, you know, the way we've played and, and everything, we we could go on and win this game, I don't know. Oh, Quiros may tries to put it through, but he can't. And we will get to that, Kelly does clear it up. Komar, <laughs> and his has been put at the top. Oh, no, no, no. That's not good. Right, I think it's time to attack. And we have a free kick, 56 minutes in. Ferry with the header. It's just over. If we lose this game, I'm going to feel really hard done by. Because we have been really good. And Dynamo Kiev haven't really. They've had their two moments of brilliance and that's it. That's all they've had. Oh dear. Don't know for Quiros. Let's bring Sam Campbell on. Bring him on for Lamy. And we'll bring Octavio on for Ferry as well. Actually, you know what? We won't. We'll go with a two striker system. Let's do that. Quiros May. Out to Quiros again. Bramall. Nice pip in. Ferry with a header. Surely. Surely that went out of play. Maybe even over the line. Right, Bramall. Tries to whip it in. It's headed clear. Evan is home. Chance for Dynamo Kiev, possibly. Ramirez, I mean, we could have capitalised on that because he really did push it out further than what he should have. And it's gone back to the keeper. Has whacked it right up the field. Donald wins the header, but he's given the ball away. Uh, Donald wins it back, though, and he concedes it again. This is still with Dynamo. Mugabe, that was an awful clearance. And thankfully, gathered the loose ball there. Right, Kelly with the goal kick. It goes out to Campbell. Campbell out to O'Donnell. We don't deserve to lose this game. O'Donnell whacks it forward. Bramall now onto this. Bramall tries to slip it into Rivio. Oh, that was close. Oh, that's why you're not my starting striker anymore, Rivio. Guarantee Ferry would not have missed that. Wow. Right, we've got to go very attacking and encourage. Come on, boys. Three minutes have added on time. Can we? Oh, there's like ten seconds left. There's no way we're going to score. O'Donnell. It's over the top. Bramall. Full-time whistle is about to go. Barreto, can we have one final chance here? Bramall. Bramall whips it in. It's Ferry! Oh, yes, he scores! 
Mark Ferry scored a last minute equaliser. Come on. Get in there, baby. Mark Ferry, you absolute beauty. Get in. And we we deserve that. We really do deserve that. It would have been really harsh on us if we lost that game. I mean, a draw for me is still... Going by these stats, a draw is still a really poor result. But considering it's a big team, I'll take it. We had 25 shots on goal, 9 of those on target. We had more shots on target than what Kiev had altogether. Things have been going relatively well since the previous video. We only played one game uh, where we won 2 1 away in Vanessa, Caledonian Thistle. We were 2 0 up, uh, well, we were 1 0 up, sorry. And then they got a um, penalty in the 84th minute, but then Mark Ferry said, Hold my beer and I'll score again. And he did. So, what a legend. That result does leave us in sixth place in the league. Uh, we There was a whole host of teams around the same amount of points, you know, like Hearts all the way down to us is 22. I mean, saying that, it's only three spots really but Celtic and Rangers are opening up opening up their gap over the rest of us Aberdeen down to us is only four points I mean if you include Dundee United in there as well then it's only seven points yep Parker can do math and then you've got St Merrin all the way down to St Johnston which is I mean eight points really but um you know Dundee United and down I would say those are the teams we should really be beating all the time every time so um and Hopefully, like, bigger margins as well. Because we beat Inverness just now, but it was only 2-1. But there we go. So today, focus does go to the, what is it called? The Premier Sports Semi-Final. Now, we are facing Livingston. The other game has been played, and we very well could win it. Because, should we get through against Livingston... We'll be playing Hearts in the final and not Celtic. Hearts went through on penalties. So, mm-hmm. So we could be winning our first cup as Motherwell boss if we're still here. Because there is a job that could come up very, very shortly that I would be really interested in applying for. Spoilers, Sheffield Wednesday. Their manager's position is precarious. So he's on the verge of being sacked. So even though they're in the lower depths of League One... I would really like to take that job because Sheffield Wednesday is a massive club and I think we could do some special things there. Absolutely. If if I get the Sheffield Wednesday job, I will get them back to the Premier League. I'm telling, I'm telling you that now. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. We've got to face Livingston in the opening game of today's episode. And now, um, just before we go any further... <clears throat> I'm recording this before I go away on my little four or five day holiday with my missus. And um, yeah, so I'm not 100% sure when these videos are co be coming out. Um, I've got everything scheduled up until I think the 10th of December. So I've got plenty of, t plenty of uh, time. And, you know, depending on what's happening with the beta save, um, that's only recorded up until episode 44 at the moment. So I've still got uh, 41 to 44 to upload. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how things are. I, thi I think. I'm going to have to double check it before I go away tomorrow. Uh, but um, I think, you know, you're going to be getting daily videos still for a while. It's all it's all scheduled for the next couple of weeks at the very least. Anyway, I'm back on Monday. So if anything's missing, I'll catch up with you then. Anyway, enough of the riffraff. Let's get into this game against Livingston. I would say this is a winnable game. Livingston, I think, are in the championship. Why are they wanting me to go to balance? Let's hit quick pick there. May and Barreto. Are they in the championship? They are. They're first in the championship. They've got a decent manager, though, in Alex Neal. Quite surprised he decided to go there. Now, why on earth would I not have Ferry as starting? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's there. He needs to start. And Ozil does as well, actually. More to the point. Because he is actually... Performing a lot better than what I anticipated. He has three assists in his five starts. That's not bad. That's not bad. He is proven to be a good, uh, a good um, acquisition for us. So this is the game we are sending to the game against Livingston. Kelly in goal. Quiros, Lamy, Johnson, and Matisin. Mata Mateusinho at the back, May and Barreto in midfield with Ozil, Turney and Spittle on the in attacking midfield, and of course Mark Ferry up front. 
wonderful stuff, wonderful man. Let's hope he can keep his goal scoring record going. He scored two goals in the last three, two goals in each of the last three games. So, um, Hopefully, he can do the business here against Livingston, who are in the division below us, and I do expect us to win this game. I've only just realised that even though they're not in our division, I'm thinking, oh, they must be in the Premier League. They're not. They're in the Championship. Because we would have faced them by now if they are in the Premier League. Because we've faced everyone at least once. You know, it's all good. Oh, 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 oh. I need to get it back to key highlights. There we go. That's better. We're going to have to stick with positive, because why wouldn't we against the championship team? A team that we should be beating. Right, Tierney, back to Barato. So home now, May, but there's a 1-2 with him. Lamy. Lamy tries to put it over the top. Uh, Barato just about gets it, but it's with Nubel. Offler tries to pop it forward, and uh, Lamy won wins it. Mateus and Ho on the ball. So that's a spittle. Barato finds Mateus and Ho. Mateus and Ho to Ozil. Ozil controls that well. Ozil over the top for Quiros now. Quiros, what can he do? He tries to slip it back to... What the... What on earth happened there? What on earth happened there? You know what? I'm actually going to give this to Ozil if it'll, if it'll let him. It will let him take it. He won the penalty. I think. So let him take it. Ozil shoots and Ozil scores. The keeper went the right way as well. And Mesut Ozil has scored his first goal for Motherwell. <laughs> well done, dude. And he's deserved it as well because, you know, we got a little bit of slack. I mean, I may have got some slack in the comments. I don't know that yet because I've not even uploaded the first episode of this yet. So, um, yeah, this... <laughs> Uh, you could have took it well, I don't know. Uh, you might have th thought it's a good sign in. Mateus and Ho whips it in. Spitzel with the header! And it's 2-0! Come on! And we are looking good for the final, guys. We are looking good for the final. And yes, I am still having work done in the kitchen. You may hear a few drills or banging and saws and all that. Yeah. Apologies. Can't exactly help it. Right, Mateus and Hope with another free kick. It's headed on. And McKay, okay, gathers it. The dogs are dealing with it relatively well. They're barking a little bit, as you'd expect. Mateus, no. Back to Soho now. The only thing I've been told about the trip that we're going on is that there's a long drive. So, um... The dogs will enjoy that, won't they? Right, Devlin now coming forward for Livingston. We're approaching half time and they could have a route back in here. Anderson and he's missed. Oh, just to give you an update on like where we are in the World Cup as well, in my world at the minute. Um, Saudi Arabia have literally just beaten Argentina. I'm like, blimey. I was listening to it on the radio in the car. Oh, the reactions when Saudi Arabia scored both of their goals. Blood. Right, Mateus and Ho puts it in. Ozil. Ooh, was a. I mean. Wasn't exactly going to be on target, was it? So. I don't understand that, really. Why was that worthy of a highlight? Right, it's back with Lamy now. Lamy to Quiros. Quiros across to Ozil. He was onside. He's done really well today. Quiros tries to slip it into Tierney. Tierney puts it across to Ferry. Oh! And you'd have thought that Ferry would have bur um, buried it from there. And straight up the other end, because it's now with Mateus in home, and he's bringing the ball forward. Tries to slip it over to Ozil. And Ozil has gone down. That's weird, but Quiros on the left-hand side. Slips it in. Tries to slip it into May, I should say. Anderson potentially can break now. It's with Pittman. Our Barato's done really well there, but the ball is still with Livingston. Devlin. Oh, yeah, I thought he might have taken a touch too far there. And Kelly makes a decent save. He had three Motherwell players around him, and he still managed to get a shot away. Poor, poor, poor defending there, guys. Right, Kelly, come on. Right upfield. Interception. Yes. Spittle now. 
I was expecting Spittle to put Ferry in there, but he's got someone with him. Spittle puts it across to Tierney, and it's 3-0. And we are going to this Premier Sports Cup final here, guys. Come on. I'm guessing you heard that as well. I am still fine today. I don't know why. I don't know why. Right, over the top out for Spittle. Can we get another goal here before half-time? That'd be nice. Oh, I thought it was we were going to go down and they were going to be down to 10 men. May. May puts it over the top. And it's Tierney again. And Tierney scores again. Is that going to count? And it does. Wow. 4-0. That, uh, this is, uh... I mean, even though Livingston are in the championship, the... I was recommended to go down to balanced in this game. <laughs> I mean, that fills me with confidence, of course. But then when we um, when we go against what they say and go and do this, um, yeah, it actually does fill me with confidence instead of sarcastically filling me with confidence. Right, Kelly. Do you want to go any further? There we go, mate. Well done. Ford can't win it unfortunately. New ball now Tierney who is on a hat trick. That's yeah, that's worth mentioning. Spittle now. Oh and Hancock, that's not Matt Hancock, is it? He's been given a uh, been given a red card. So I mean I might as well just stick with positive for now because we're going well. We're um we're gonna win this game. It's just like how much we're gonna win it by now. Right, Quiros, Ozil. May, May slips it in. Ferry's offside. He's offside. I know he is. Yeah, thank you. I mean, no, not thank you, but, you know, just confirming what I already knew. Right, Gallagher with the clearance. A Barreto. Barreto will get to this. Barreto to May. May tries to put it out for Spittle. And Spittle now on the ball. Spittle puts it in. Oza with the header. And it's only just wide, to be fair. And it is now a goal kick for Livingston. And we've intercepted it. Tierney now coming forward. Tierney with a shot. And it's just over. Good effort. Good effort. May could do with coming off. May, may need to come off. Right, Bramall on for Quiros. We'll put... Ah, uh, see, Tinny's on a hat-trick at the minute, so I'm not really... wanting to change him. We'll bring Cornelius on for May. Cornelius has been wanting to go on loan, wanting more game time, so we'll give him that today. Not the loan, the game time. Of all the games that I expected Ferry to score, I was hoping that he would score in this one. Because it just seems like the ideal time for him. Right. Um, we'll bring Ozil off now. We'll bring Mateus and Ho off now because he gets tired quickly. And we will bring Ferry off actually for Octavio. For Octav that's why I called him Octavio. Because that's what his first name is. Octavio Riviero. I mean, the second half's been a bit boring, really. Not many highlights to really uh, go on, but we did win 4-0. We're in the final of the uh, of the Cup, Premier Sports Cup. Thank you, I just remembered. And, yeah, awesome stuff. It's, um... If we can get something while we're here, then, yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all flaming for it. Right, Tierney... Pat on the back for you, mate. Well done. Our post-match press conference. We'll just send the assistant there. Um, I have recently checked up on Scunthorpe, and they are doing well in League One. Uh, but uh, now we have a few a few days before our game in the Europa Conference League against Carabag. I'm not sure how you say that. That is something I'll probably need to look up, to be fair. Uh, so um, we'll be back for that. But um, in the meantime, if there's any other business, I'll, of course, bring you back for that contracts expiring at the end of the season i the only one i've made an offer 
to keep is Solom uh, Johansson because he's actually a really good player. The rest, I think I'm happy to leave, um, to let go. Um, Octavio Riviero has actually had an offer put in for him from Olsen. Not a clue where that is. For 275 grand. I think we'll take it, to be perfectly honest. Could do with the money. And um, it does come with a wage contribution of £2,500 a week. But I think we can afford that. And uh, it will get six grand off it and then just add two and a half back on or you can just say we'll get rid of three and a half which could be handy actually I'll basically be what we're over by now maybe a little bit less apologies yawning goals wise Ferry is by far the top goal scorer anyway He's got um, a few years left on his, so I'm more than happy to go with him for now. He's actually had an increase in current ability, which I've literally only just noticed. So uh, that is awesome. So let's get into this game against Quarbag. Um, the job I was going, I was hoping to apply for, unfortunately, it's not come up yet. Um, it is actually back to um, insecure now and not. Um, precarious unfortunately because i think he's probably won a couple of games but that is something we will keep an eye on um i don't have like active interest in just going anywhere like i did from scumthorpe to here because literally let's face it it was the first interview we had so we kind of jumped we did jump without really thinking about it i think in a way scumthorpe was getting a little bit stale so, um, but guys, we're playing in Europe now, so, you know, I do have some regrets of it, but, um, let's just see how we get on here. Um, we're away from home, so that obviously does go against us. So, we'll see. I mean, a result here would be nice. Uh, this is us. So, Lamy is taking the corner. My God, this is a huge stadium and there's no one in it. Lamy takes it and the keeper's only there. Tails him with a shot. Oh, and it's just wide. I mean, I haven't... Oh my god, there's literally nobody here. I mean, I haven't, like, done the quality or anything. Oh, Turney's in here. Turney's in. Oh, and it's so close there as well. There is not a single person in the stadium. From what, Oh, there's one, there's one person there. <laughs> oh, literally. You, you're feeling all right, dude. You feel a little bit your own there. Oh, god. You poor bloke. Literally the only person there. Right, free kick, 22 minutes in. Tayson Hope whips it in. And we have scored. Blair Spittle has got his fourth goal of the season. And we have taken the lead in, I think it's Azerbaijan. I think. One of those. Oh, there are a few more people this way. I think. Did I see that correctly? No, I didn't. I didn't actually. How many? Oh, that's offside. That is... Is that offside? Yeah, I thought so. Thank you. I can't... I th literally, I saw one person. One, 1,389. Where are they? This is a huge stadium. This is actually a really big stadium. So where... I mean, surely you'd be able to see them. And surely, if they're that interested in the game, they would be... Oh, they're all scattered around up there. Right, that makes sense now. But why would they be up there? Uh, I mean, because... See, so you, because you've obviously got, uh, like, specific seats that you have to sit, sit in. I remember, I've been to Co I've been to Coventry, I've been to the, the Dons, and, um... I mean, there you're given, like, specific seat numbers. So, um, I think, I think you are. I think... Oh, it's a cracking save there by Kelly. Quiet bag, trying to get back into the game. Maybe you've got the Europa Conference League like plastered all up here. You know, you know. I ain't got a clue what competition this is. Just plaster it everywhere. A few more people around here. See that dude still on his own. He's got a few people behind him. To be fair. Right, so we're up to sixth now, as things stand. KD, Romeo, oh, oh, and he's hit the post, but Owusu scored, and that's not going to count either, phew, alright, getting away with it a little bit now, because they've had two goals ruled out for offside, yes, we've still been by far the better team, I would say, and they have another free kick here, and it's headed clear, oh, I thought that was going to head for, go for Spittle then, Yukanovic shoots, and it's over, 
Wow. Sort of living on the edge a little bit now, guys. Um, got any, but I have a Lennon, Fo uh, Lennon, is it Foster? Miller. Where the hell did I get Foster from? Oh, because of Leon's Foster just there and underneath him. That's where I got him from. Right, Mugabe is going to come on for Mateus and Ho, and we'll confirm those changes now. That's cool. Right, Kuros for Bramall. I will take that change, actually, when we're allowed to. And that was a crap free kick. I'm playing Supercard in the background as well, just letting Roto... Oh, my God, what are they doing? Arusu's in now, and... Oh, my God. Oh my god, and I can't bloody confirm the, the bloody change that I want to make now because it keeps going to a highlight really quick. Right, Medvedev now. Goes back to Husinov. Medvedev, Yukanovic. Oh. Oh, free kick to Motherwell. I thought we conceded a penalty there, guys. I was gonna, I'm going to be honest. Right, Miller, Mugabe. Oh, that was a terrible pass. And it is with Quarabag again now. Awusu. And I've actually to Awusu. And it's another good save there by Kelly. And they have really come on in this second half and deserved deserved to be level, I would probably say. Right, so he can come off. And we'll make the other change now as well. I think we'll bring Broom on for uh, Blair Spittle. Uh, offside again has been called. And again, it is another free kick for Quarabag. Again, no idea how to say that. Could have been corrected numerous times and not... What is he doing? Lammy, you tit! Kind of won the ball, but then gave it away again. Oh, God. And I've just offered him a new contract as well. It's the least they deserve, to be honest. We've been piss poor in this second half. And I'll be satisfied if we can hold on to this now. Oh, and thankfully we can. That does dent our hopes of um, qualifying. I mean, apparently we weren't, we weren't given a chance, according to that. Uh, Schedule-wise, since you lost with me, I've not got a clue um, what we did, to be perfectly honest. Um... Oh no, I do remember. We beat Livingston in the Premier Sports Cup semi-final and we drew against this team. I'm not even going to try and say it again because I know I probably watched it before. So, yeah. Because, so since then we've had, you know, I've said this a couple of times, a bit of a traffic light system. Green, amber, red, green, amber. That's pretty close to... Um, pretty close to normal traffic lights to be honest now we did get a nil nil against celtic i did actually go defend i this you know what this is starting to come back to me now i did do a defensive tactic for that one and you know it kept us from conceding i did this and um, obviously the position the players in these positions obviously would have changed but this is the formation i went with away from home custom direct count uh, counter attack and it worked it got us a nil nil which was not too bad uh, it's all started to come back to me though it is all good so we are in the um what is it europa conference league league phase i think that's how you say it and at the minute we are in seventh place and now we do have one more game to play and that is away against sheriff tiraspol now if they win they can't actually catch us, so that's fine. Uh, but um, should we not qualify in the top eight, which, you know, I've done this a few times now, haven't we? Especially with Leicester. Um, well, only with Leicester, actually. We're not even... <laughs> that's, that's, that's weird. So hopefully we can... I mean, ideally, if we want to definitely qualify, we'd need to win this game because we've got Clone, Basel, Fenerbahce, AEK, AIK Athens. Oh, is that Athens? Like AEK Athens is Athens, isn't it? Galatasaray, Antwerp, all of them could still pass us. I mean, even as far down as 
um, Shamrock Rovers, who we have actually beaten in this competition. I'm pretty sure you saw that. I could be wrong. But anyway, let's get into the opening game against Sheriff Tourist Bowl. And then after that, we're playing our first final of the series, and it's uh, a game against Hearts, which we very well could win, and we could actually get ourselves a trophy here at Motherwell. That would be absolutely fantastic. And should we win this game, I'd probably be fine leaving, <laughs> because... Um, I'm hoping, I'm still hoping, that the Sheffield Wednesday job comes up. Now, um, you're going to probably call me a bit of a div for this, but they are, like, 19th in League One, and obviously, what team did we start this save with? We start with Scunthorpe, and they're currently in 5th. So, um, Ryan Love is doing a decent job. Obviously, I'm taking credit for most of this, because he's not signed anyone. He's not needed to. I already said that. You know, that kind of makes me, what I did, even better, because it set him up nicely. And the dog's just climbing under the uh, duvet because he's cold. Standard stuff here, guys. Anyway, let's get into this opening game. We do really need to win this, like I said. They want me to go to positive mentality here. That's interesting. Okay, so from what I can remember, um, Mark Ferry has been on fire recently. Um, maybe not so much recently, recently, but, you know, the last episode leading up to that, he was really good. So we are going with Kelly and Goal, a back four of Quiros, Lamy, Johnson and, uh, and Mateus in home. Jesus Christ, I've not said that for a while. Barreto, May and Tierney in midfield with Telson and Spittle on the wings and Ferry up front. Let's do this. Um, Riviero is going to be leaving um, at the start of the trend. I think it's at the start of the transfer window, uh, so um, we've got to uh, monitor him. Uh, we've got, to, I say, monitor him. Uh, we've got to um, think about what we're going to do in January to sign a replacement for him, because we are going to need another striker. We can't solely rely on Mark Ferry. I mean, it could mean, yeah, could mean. Oh, oh, we had a shot already. That's good. It could mean, um, it, well, it might mean nothing because we may, uh, we may be, may be leaving. Right, uh, Ferry's on the ball here. Ferry out to Mateus and Ho. Mateus and Ho can have a shot. Oh, it's been the. No, it's fine. Oh, this for some reason looks so strange. It's because there's no fans. Mateus and Ho tries to whip it in, and it's headed over there. I'm not sure who he even headed that. Um, we've been really good in these opening few minutes. I say really good. Um, we've not had a shot on target, but we have had five, six shots. May is it in here. It's partially cleared. Uh, Barreto puts that back out to May. Can he get across in? He can, kind of. And he's hit. Oh, my God. That was a cracking effort. I thought that's a keeper save, that. I really thought the keeper saved that. Right, we have a free kick in a dangerous area. Mateus and Ho to take. Can he score this? It'd be awesome if he could. Mateus and Ho shoots. Oh, and he scored a fantastic goal! Ho, ho, ho! Mateus and Ho, take a flaming bow, my man. Get in there. And Mateus and Ho has put us 1-0 up at Sheriff Terrace Ball. And that will guarantee us to qualify in the Europa Conference League League. Right, Mateus and Ho with another free kick. And it hit the crossbar. I mean, we didn't get a good view of that because I, well, I don't know why, to be perfectly honest. What is going on here? We are playing some amazing stuff. Ferry whips past the defence here. Can he get a ball in? He can. It's with Tailson. Oh, and it's really close to 2-0. Right, Lamy. Quiros back to Lamy. Quiros. Barreto over the top. It's intercepted. Barreto. Telson now. Telson. And he's made it 2 0. Come on. Get in there, baby. Wonderful stuff. Absolutely wonderful stuff. And at the minute, we're in fourth. And this has gone really well. A lot better than expected. I expected this to be a really tough game. But, you know, 35 minutes in, we've had 15 shots. Three on target. Two of them have gone in the back of the net. Mateus and Ho. What can he do now on this right-hand side? Mateus and Ho whips it in. And it is cleared. But it is gathered by Johnson. Barreto. Mateus and Ho. Back to 
Johnson. Keep on wanting... I mean, I should really be calling him by his name there. But I've never done that, really. Right, Spittle, can he... What could he do? Mateus and Ho whips it in. Tailson is on the side. Oh, and he's only just put that wide. Right, remove gets stuck in. I'm fine with that. We have another free kick just before half time. Mateus and Ho plays a lovely ball to Tailson. Can he get it in? Tailson goes back to May. He's advancing forward, May, to Spittle. Out to Soholm. We know who it is. It's Johnson. Tierney. Oh, damn it. I just remembered something as well. Need to put my Omega Luke corner tactic on this save. I completely forgot. Right, Lammy. Quiros. Another goal here and I'll be much happier. Oh, I think Ferry's onside. Gets out to Spittle. Can he give it back to him? He gives it to Mateus and her lovely ball. Mateus and Ho, what's he going to do? Tries to get it in. Ferry with the header. Oh, and it's just over. But we are playing some lovely, lovely stuff. If we could get a few more shots on target, we could get double figures here. Probably exaggerating a little bit. But um, 18 shots, 3 on target. We are 2-0 up. This couldn't really be going much better. Now, obviously I've been busy this evening. Uh, with uh, like all the uh, like scheduling and everything, with doing the thumbnails and everything. Now, in order for me to like do the like, titles and all that, give me an idea for the thumbnails. I do watch the videos back, like just before I put them out on YouTube. And some of the quality, um, it it didn't look. I wasn't overly impressed with it. So I do apologise if the video quality wasn't great on some of them. Ferries in. And Ferry scores. It's 3 0, and it's pretty much game over now. And um, I don't know how it would have been received. Now, that's me viewing it on. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, I don't want to. Don't want to watch that. I want to watch like videos that I've uploaded. So. Maybe if I, like. Watch this one. Well, if you don't know why we're here, I suggest you go and watch the last video. There you go. I mean, I'm watching my own video. I just want to make sure, like, the quality looks all right. How many players are we allowed to loan? loan right. Um, because. Oh, they want amended. Right. Let's go to the, the first, first league game let's one now. Some of them work at... While um, so I'm cracking, I hope his name. I hope his first name isn't. Oh, uh, you know what? That actually doesn't That's look too bad. Right, that actually look, looks alright from my, watching on my phone. That's fine. Um, right, let's focus back on this game now. I do apologise for that, guys. Right, Miriman, put him on for you. O'Donnell on for Quiros. Let's uh, Foster on for you. Um, Campbell as well. Come on for Johnson. And... Oh, anyone who can... Shane Nevins on for Ferry. Why not? I'm definitely going to need another striker. But then again, it might not mean anything because... Um, we could be leaving. <coughs> no, um, a friend of mine... I say he's a friend. I've never met him before. But um, he's done this save with uh, TNS in Wales. And... Um, He's just turned them into a, like, certainly a domestic league powerhouse and going undefeated for over 150 games. And um, it kind of makes me think, you know, if we give this a few years, we could turn Motherwell into a dominance, possibly. But obviously there's a lot more competition in this league, so it may take a lot longer. I don't know, but, um, you know, if we were to stick with Motherwell... Could we turn them into contenders? Tailson's in, and Tailson scored again. Guys, I was really not expecting this. This team that we're against... I mean, I know it was a few years ago now, maybe three, four years ago, but, you know, they've played in the Champions League. They went to Real Madrid, and they won. I, I mean, I was, certainly was not expecting this performance. It's absolutely blown me away. And we had nearly 30 shots. We were absolutely incredible. 
and we've qualified in the top eight so we'll be going straight through to the last 16 and you know what i think at this point even if the sheffield wednesday job was to come up why on earth would i even consider leaving because we're in the last 16 of a european competition so we've qualified there we've got nearly half a mil coming in for that we want apparently we want a new another we want a full-on deal for Barato. i mean that would be good And we've got just over a hundred thousand, just under a hundred thousand for that. I think more money will certainly be coming in for us qualifying for the last sixteen. Absolutely. Right, that's half of this episode done. Uh, we've got um, obviously I said Octavio Riviero is leaving. Uh, we do have that cup final coming up in a sec, which you know what I completely forgot about. In here for, for some somehow, and um, we're also offered Patrick Cliver a job as a scout. Now, if we can get him in, that would be really good. And he knows his stuff, so hopefully, he will be coming in. Again, it's something I've completely forgotten about. So, please forgive me. Um, hopefully, the episodes will be better from now on because, um, like I say, as I'm recording this, it is the early hours of the 3rd of December, so Saturday. I have got this weekend off. Villas Boas has took the Leicester job in this save. Can you guys believe who took the Leicester job when I resigned as manager in the Beer Safe? If you don't know who it is, then I'm not going to tell you. You need to go and watch the video. God, what kind of content creator would I be if I don't encourage you to go and watch the other series? <laughs> yeah. You can call me an arsehole. It, it's perfectly acceptable. But nothing more, because, you know, you hurt my feelings and I don't like that. Anyway, hearts coming up. Cup final. Woo! In just a sec. Absolutely no reason to change anything with this tactic, with this team. Um, the only thing I have changed is gone to a balanced mentality. <laughs> Because according to the game, Hearts are a better team than Sheriff Tiraspol, who we've just played. So, um, I'm not 100% sure um, on... Oh, oops. I didn't realise there was only 9 subs and not 12. But that's fine. We'll be okay. But yeah, I mean, I didn't realise Sheriff Tiraspol was so bad. I thought they were better than Hearts. I mean, beating Real Madrid would obviously suggest that to me, really. But there you go. Let's see how we do here. It's a cup final. So he's hoping we can win. I mean, did we... It escapes me. Did we... Did we win the Johnson's Paint Trophy with Scunthorpe? Oh, Jesus. I can't remember. Oh, God. I actually can't remember. Did we? I can't remember. I don't think we did. It. Oh, God. I'm, there's something I'm going to have to check. Oh dear. <laughs> oh god, you guys are probably laughing at me in the comments now. Right. If we didn't win that, which, you know, thinking about it, we may have done. I think we did. we? I'm going to go we, we did. I think we did. We may have won it. I genuinely can't remember. You know what? That is going to. It is going to bug me. So at half time, I'm going to have to check. Right, Mateus and hope with a free kick, he gets it out to Telson on the left-hand side. This is the first highlight like of the game. Telson gives it back to Mateus and Ho, who... Oh, that was an awful... That was awful then. Right, it's with rolls now for Hearts. Hopefully, they're not going to get a counter-attack going, because we've lost the ball. Right, it's with Tedich, Field... Come on, boys, get the ball back and score a goal, please. Right, can we win this ball back, please? Yeah, we have. Right, Lamy. Quiros. Quiros puts it over the top for Mark Ferry to chase. And Mark Ferry, oh my god, that was so close. Thundered that just wide. Right, I'm going to have to check. I'm so sorry. Um, right, um, Motherwell, me... Come on. Right, my job history. Yeah, we did. Sorry, I I completely forgot. I 
completely forgot about that. I genuinely did. Mateo now with a free kick. Barreto with the header and he scores! Barreto scores! Oh, we've gone 1-0 up just before half-time. Get in! Come on! And we've got a massive bumper crowd here as well. I think it was 39,000. Yes, come on! And we are 45 minutes away from winning our first cup here at Motherwell. Come on! Come on, boys! Come on, the Motherwell. I can't remember the... Uh, Barreto's going to have to come off. That is absolutely fine. Got one more stoppage that we can make. Um, I'm actually kind of glad because this is the first time I'm playing the game since the update. So I'm kind of glad that they've put, put that in there. Oh, are we going to score again? Yes! Oh, Mark Ferry has doubled the lead. Oh, he is such a legend. Come on. Get in there. 2-0 up. 63 minutes on the clock. And we are looking good for this cup, guys. Oh, baby. Right, I'm going to have to hold off on a few more changes. I'm glad that they've made this change because it um, lets you know just how you're doing, uh, changes-wise. Right, um, Foster, Mateus and Ho needs to come off. And, oh god, I haven't got another centre-back, have I? Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I've already brought those two defenders on. Um, let's bring... Hmm. Let's tell you what, let's just bring Te um, Nevins on for Telson. Right, there we go. So, 15 minutes left to go. We are leading Hearts by two goals to nil. We are looking good for a trophy here, guys. I will be so happy if we can win this. And we are. We are going to win it. We are going to win it. There's no way Hearts will come back now. We have been really good. Oh, Lordy, get in there. I know, You know what? I never expected to get this kind of animation with Motherwell. Wow. I am. I'm blown away by that. What an episode. What a way to come back, eh? And look at all the Motherwell fans here. I can't say goodbye to this lot yet, can I? We've just won a cup. And we're qualified in the last 16 of the um, Europa Conference League. Come on. We won a cup. Hey, hey, hey. That's wonderful stuff. And we beat a really good team in Hearts as well. I, I don't know what made me made me um, call myself Scratch. Uh, it it for me it works. I actually really like it. Oh, we've got um, quarter of a mil there as well. That's nice. Another world win. Received two hundred and fifty k for that. Sutton declares a proud day. Okay, so we're back a bit early. For good reason. Could this be the final video with Motherwell? I honestly do not know. Because as you can see in my inbox, I have been offered the Sheffield Wednesday. I've been offered an interview for it, I should say. Now, um, uh, the previous manager was sacked about a week ago at this point, I think. And I did uh, apply for it straight away. So, let's see what we can do here. We are going to attend the interview. And... You see, the thing is, I see this as a long-term project. I see me, if I was to get the Sheffield Wednesday job, I would stick it out. I would get them to the Premier League, maybe even get them to Europe. Now, I know it's not a road to glory, but it's something that I really like to do. And Sheffield Wednesday is a huge, huge club. Um, I've, no, I've never, never had any complaints from the media. Previously, uh, I've learned from the mistakes. I haven't, I haven't learned because, yeah, I mean, I always have a, I mean, comment section's always been nice. Yeah, I can, I can be fine in financial restrictions. I mean, just look what happened with Leicester. Yeah, that went well. I can do this. I can do this. Oh. this is a tough one because I actually wouldn't mind spending the entire se the rest of the season here at Motherwell ah uh, you know what no mm, 
might okay so borderler owner is looking to sell i mean that's always nice okay so play attacking football sign under sign players under the age of 23 work within the wage budget grow the club's reputation certainly in, certainly um certainly want to do that okay so the end of the current season they want us to record a top half finish so 12th or above be competitive in the fa cup pepper john's trophy grow the club's reputation repair the club's financial damage okay Okay, that's probably not what I'm going to be doing, but um, I believe I would. How does a transfer budget of that? I mean, to be fair, that's fine. I agree, that's fine. Oh, um, let's ask for a little bit more wage budget because I'm pretty sure they had a bigger wage budget than that when I looked when I applied for it yeah it's interesting but currently they are 16th in league one and 32 points five points clear of the relegation zone and I mean looking at this playoffs is still achievable I mean Scunthorpe are flying high at the minute so it's good to see them doing well have they already played Scunthorpe Uh, they've played them, got the game there, so they would have played them at home already. And they beat them 3-0. Okay, so we'll be going We'll be going to Scunthorpe should I get the Sheffield Wednesday job. Now, it's possible that this will be our final time here at Motherwell. If I get offered the job, I think I'm probably going to have to take it. This could be, I mean, the Motherwell stuff could be a long-term thing if i was to stick it out but i mean i am enjoying it but i just see a much bigger opportunity with sheffield wednesday i think we could probably get them in the playoffs at the end of this season i mean we're probably going a little bit over our heads we may even not not even get offered it so um let's see what happens i'm taking i would say at this point if i was to take the sheffield wednesday job i would be taking a step back but Taking that step back, I'd probably move a few steps forward as well, long term. So let's hit continue, and we'll see what happens. Now, at the same time, we still have a game with Hearts coming up in six days, so I don't know if we're going to hear about the Sheffield Wednesday job in that time. I am looking at transfers for Motherwell as well, so I've still got that to do. So I'll see you very soon for a possible move to Sheffield Wednesday. Okay, so I would say this is probably a good thing. Sheffield Wednesday requests backroom staff changes. Um, suggest changes. Um, I don't really have any issues. So I'm just going to confirm as they are. So that's cool. Um, we've had a loan offer from Wigan for Leon's Foster, which we are going to reject. Uh, you, 16 year old, so yeah, you can go out and loan, why not? Um, I did actually forget to tell you that I have actually signed a player in this transfer window. George Tom uh, Thomason comes in from Celtic um, for about 50 grand, I think. 55, sorry, Mr. Five Grand. And, uh, yeah, he looks a promising prospect. Uh, Three-star current ability, four-star potential, three grand a week, which is absolutely fine. Um, Riviero has now gone, so um, that does leave us a little bit short in the striking department. But Mark Ferry seems to be doing a pretty good job. Um, I can't say I'd be interested in taking him with me to Sheffield Wednesday. I don't know if there's any other players I may want to take. Uh, Mateus and Ho would be a good one. Maybe. I don't, I don't know how these two would like... Like interlink with like current ability and potentials and stuff. I'd imagine it would be roughly the same. I don't know. But um, I would say that requesting those uh, backroom changes is probably a good thing. It means they're looking at me as a potential candidate, a possible candidate, or the candidate really. Mark Ferry's injured, but he should still be fit for the Hearts game if we're here. Nevins is going out on loan to Don's. And yeah, I whatever I said then, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Oh come on. I mean I'd like it if I'm offered the job before oh my god they've offered me the job. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, okay, right, let's have a look. Aren't oh, they offering me even less? Or is that what I said? I, I because I thought I said I wanted more. 
Oh God. Oh, I just, I mean, they're offering me, a, a, to be fair, they're offering me a lot of money. Oh, God, what do I do? Uh, I, the thing is, I really wanted this job. I know it's a step back, it, it's a step back at this point. I mean, stadium size. I mean, look at the issues we had with... FC United of Manchester and Enfield Town over the last few years here on YouTube uh, where we just didn't have the stadium capacity I mean we still won things and stuff but you know we want a big stadium we want to oh, guys I've got to take it I wanted this job a while ago and now we've been offered it I mean I don't think we've done all we could do here at Motherwell by any means but I think what we have done in the six months we've been here has been pretty good. You know, we've got them to the last. We've got them to the last sixteen of the uh, Europa uh, Europa Conference League. Oh, you know what? If I could do this over, I'd say I'd take the job at the end of the season. But this could be a. But this could be something special. And potential rebuild job. I mean, some of the wages are absolutely astronomical. I mean, there were big wages. I mean, this guy's out a contract at the end of the summer. We've got Vidra there, who's actually leaving as well, which is funny. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think we're going to take it. I think we're going to take it. I think we could be... I think we could have a really good time. Financial situation isn't great, but... You know my record with clubs. I could turn things around. Oh, God, this could be terrible, couldn't it? Um, right, let's start negotiations. And, um... Yeah, we'll, um... We're going to take it. We're going to take the job. We're going to take the job. Well, this has been a very short video. And, uh... Yeah, my schedule has now gone out the window. Because I genuinely wasn't expecting this to happen but guys we weren't at Motherwell for very long but we've now left Motherwell and we are now at Club 3 in Sheffield Wednesday and there you have it the entire time here at Motherwell all smashed into one video here absolutely no idea how long it's going to be for you guys because i've done this in the installments doing episodes one and two together three four and five together and then the rest here in this one so literally no idea i'm guessing around three three and a half hours so nowhere near as long as the scum thought one but um still long enough to uh tickle your juices and and all that good stuff but yes that's club two obviously next week we're gonna have club three sheffield wednesday so i'll see you then thanks for watching